No. So um, somebody who hasn't done it before or very often, would you like to help run the meeting as a co uh, to be able to let people in and all that? Oh, you've never trusted me with the powers. And since I'm not doing a category, I could do it. I don't know. Should we let the COVID guy do it? <laughs> you might not catch something. Once you sanitize it between the one never it done it before. Okay, so Rob, I have all the sounds turned off. So you have to keep an eye on the um, people wanting to get in the door because you can't hear them. There's no doorbell. What sounds turned off? Oh, you mean when people no, enter the waiting room? Yeah, it normally would say ding dong. I've turned so, them all off. So where, where does that appear? It will appear probably at the top of your screen. Kevin, has yeah. it been appearing at the top of your screen when somebody comes That's by? That's always where it shows up for me. I, I have okay. it on the, the right side of my screen. Oh. But, or also, yeah. I think a red um, a red number or something will come out where it says. Oh, never mind. I know what to do. I, right. I think. If I open the participants window, it, it, it always winds up at the top of the participants. Yeah. Window. Okay. Yeah. So that's the other I'm, thing. So, I'm so keep it's that all turn off. Okay. So you have to keep an eye on it. And okay. even when we're playing the game, people sometimes I gotcha. get kicked out or they hit the wrong button or whatever. So you have to look to see to put them back in. And I keep track of who's on each team. So I can handle that once we get there. Once I see them come back into the room, like you might have to let them in the room. Yeah. I will put them into the room that they're supposed to be because I can. I, okay. I'm the one that's going to know. Where Where is the mute all button? I don't know. I think it's under on the. It, on it the doesn't exist. It doesn't exist on the screen. <laughs> it's full of the uh, participant <laughs> list. Is it participant? Yeah, it should be at the bottom of the participants list. Oh, what a yeah. stupid place to put it. Yes, I see it. Okay. And it make is. sure not to select the option that they can't undo it. <laughs> Are you kidding? That's Rob's favorite option. He loves what other people the power. do. Power. do it now. We're missing a lot of people besides Peggy, the Betty White um, person killer. Peggy, uh, Richard Saunders is, I said, isn't going to be here tonight. Oh, here comes. Oh, here we go. Here we've got a couple more. Um, but uh, yeah, I was thinking Betty White died right after. Yeah, Peggy did. Yeah. yeah. I told oh, her. Oh, I thought of that too right when I heard it. Yeah, so we're going to be doing a lot of that. In fact, I on one of her questions, she said something like, I just looked it up to make sure she's still alive, right? The last Anybody else remember the that? Last time I checked. Oh, Bob's my God. Said, Bob's got the line down. We're going to have well, to. We're going to talk right. a lot about Donald Trump tonight. I timed um, that question. The last, the last I checked, Donald Trump was still alive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. That's the line. <laughs> We'll be using tonight, and if we kill him, that should be somebody's team. We got the video right here to prove that we did it. Hey, does Our anybody mind. know is Donald Trump still alive? <laughs> well, the last time I think he's ninety nine. Yeah. He's ninety nine. Is he That's having a birthday in January? Yeah, the thing is for People Magazine to uh, prematurely print your hundredth uh, birthday uh, notice and put you on the cover, which is what they did for. Oh, <laughs> well, she got to see it. They went ahead with that uh, article. Really is Donald Trump still alive? Dot com is available. Oh, <laughs> <I'm buying> it. <laughs> Are you serious? Is it come? Yeah, yeah, it's available. Oh, buy it. Let's buy it. it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Are you going to buy it? Do you, do you do it? Do you remember the uh, gave the go to dead dot com? What do you do with it? What was it? What was it? Oh, oh, it I, I, I would not buy that. Yeah, I'm thinking that puts you right at the top of the list of the NSA, uh, you know, watch list. Yeah, remember, so I would not advise you to Trump. buy it. You can't even joke about stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Is Donald, was, is Donald was, Trump is Donald Trump? Is Ava go to dead dot? Yeah, is is not now. <laughs> I mean, I without with all due, don't don't me. with all due respect to uh, Joseph Goebbels, is uh, Donald Trump an asshole? <laughs> yes, I'm a check. Yeah. Hi, Karen. Karen once says she'll contribute to the cause in getting the domain. <laughs> okay, Kevin. Kevin, Kevin, yes. Kevin, 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 yes. Kevin. Kevin. Yes. Kevin. Yes. Yes. Or in a Boston accent. Kevin. 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 Yes. You say it in Boston? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? So Kevin's in charge, you guys, y'all. Go for it. Okay, how do we put people in rooms? We do, we do that first. How do we do that? So go Random, to right? breakout rooms, and yep. it's gonna you're gonna make five breakout rooms, and then you're just gonna whatever the top button is, you're gonna hit that create button, and then you're gonna see a list of all the participants in the breakout rooms, and then you have to sort them to make sure that you've got you know you don't have 
one question uh, giver per room. Right? He's Kevin's, uh, Kevin's the only one tonight. You know, there tonight. doesn't have to be five rooms tonight because he's doing yeah. all the rounds. That's oh, great. four rooms. Four rooms. I'll leave. I'm leaving after a couple rounds. Should we do there four rooms? Oh, I usually leave early. Too. Ooh, yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, let's do four rooms. We haven't done okay. that in a long time. Okay, so. And then you want to make sure that there's not, uh, you know, you don't want to put Brian Kirby and uh, Lori and who else usually leaves early? Well, I guess that's about it. You, you want to kind of make sure that you don't have like a room of people leaving early all in the same room. You know, like Avi usually leaves early. Yeah, and don't like put all the math experts in one room. Yeah, or, I know, can't the all room. Room. Oh yeah, put all the Canadians in the same room. That'd be funny. <laughs> uh, yeah, and, and all the questions are in U.S. states and metric. You know, they're all in. They're all in. You know, we we, we would actually win. Probably. Ooh, ooh, the gauntlet has ooh, been uh, like a, down. A throw down. That might be an interesting. We should have the Canadians just run the. Gotta, you gotta try different. You know, like all the guys with beards would be on a team. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have Adrian and Larry and uh, Vincent all do a category and blonde women and Avi. Look what my kids got me for Christmas. Oh, no. That's it. Oh, please, oh, please. It's a tarnish. Oh, it's a tarnish sweat. Uh, Very nice. I like it. Isn't that nice? Yes. Wait, does it? Does, is it a hoodie? Does it have a? Does it have a little bell on top? Does it a little it light should. on top of the hoodie? Oh, no light. No light. Oh man. That's a somebody, good idea. Though, right? Somebody wore one like to, to PsyCon, the costume party. Uh, actually, uh, awesome. a Ava McQueen, yeah, she she wore it and it had a little light on top of her hoodie. I don't remember that. Yeah, I, I got now, pictures um, with Susie, that. can you see the rooms? Want to take no. a look? Mm -mm, I can't see anything. So okay. then we'll just hit the button and we go to our rooms. Okay. Here and we I go. go where I, and whoever you put me in with is going to be recorded, you guys. So you better, if you don't want to be recorded, you better let Kevin know right now. Ah, uh, breakout room. And what do I do? Oh, I'm not on a team? You didn't put me on a team. Aha. Uh -huh. So it, it it put everybody on a team except whoever's left. Right, put me on a team. I don't want to okay. work. Karen, are you on a team? I think she is. Yeah, she is. She just hasn't gone there yet. She probably probably walked away. Okay. Breakout rooms. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Well, I thought one, we're two, doing four three. rooms. I know, but just count people in it. Oh, one, three, I'm sorry. Four. There's only four people in that room. So I have to add you to room four. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to figure out how. It says assign me. At the very top of the uh, breakout room list, it says unassigned. More. Or maybe I am in a room. Let me see. No, I'm not in a room. Oh, wait. My name is a Serbic Let me look. Mm -mm. I'm trying to put you in room four. So hit at the very top of the room. It wants me to assign you. Do you see my name at the very top of the breakout room list? Nope. Hmm. Well, I'll just join four. Yeah, you can do it on your own, right? Yeah. yeah join four. Hi. Hi, teammates. Hey, Hi. Susan. Hi. You got me. We're just kind of we're we're doing a little intro because some of us don't know each other. So. so go continue, Lori. You had what's that? Continue with what you were saying about. Oh yeah, I was saying. So I used to work in pediatric palliative care and cancer, and so I worked with families who had were in the like you know, the death of a child. And so I had to really be neutral and oh, closed off yeah. about my own beliefs and everything. So after, after 23 years, I left doing that. So now I do youth mental health and um, I can be more, that's when I contacted Susan. I said, I can come now. <laughs> I can be it's out. Okay. I can be out. Yeah. So Susan's helped me come out. It's, oh, yeah. It's interesting so about so quiet. coming out. I too call myself an atheist, not because I think it's a big deal. But when I was working at the university, I realized that there are a lot of people who don't believe, but they're nervous about having revealing that. And mm. since my position was secure, I was I felt I obliged to say, look, I'm an atheist quite publicly. I would say that on a blog and so on. 
so that others who didn't believe would yeah, have a sort of, they would come to me quietly and say i'm so glad you're saying this because you know i feel otherwise i feel like i'm alone but you know now right. i know yeah mm -hmm. that's, that's right. a very good point that's that is a good reason to if you're comfortable with it to yeah. say you're an atheist just to show and also yeah. you if you if you're leading a good life i mean i don't know if i would say it if i was like you know robbing banks or anything like that but but if you're leading a good life it's it's just like saying to people that you don't have to be moral to be good you know what i mean you don't have to be religious to be uh good yeah yeah religious. i have a i have a christian friend that freaks out Susan, you are just one of the most wonderful people. If only you were a Christian. I know. Well, I'm like, uh, you know, she's, I'm always were, telling all my church awesome. friends. Yeah. I'm always telling my church friends that my atheist friend is just so wonderful. I wish she was just a believer because look at it with a good maybe, example, maybe. she says. I'm like, keep telling your Christian friends about me. Maybe Come we on. should name we should name our group I'm coming out. Yeah. I don't care. Whatever you get. <clears throat> I mean, we should, should we be naming ourselves about the insurrection? No. Yeah. I, or Trump is our. Is he still alive? Everybody's gonna do that, I think. Yeah. You think? Safe bet. Um. I think Laurie's coming out is a good idea. Since we I'm coming did. out, we could sing it. I'm coming <laughs> out. I want the world to know. Got to let yeah, we should decide soon because I know I haven't met Vincent either before. Yeah, Vincent. Mm. Where, where are you from, Vincent? Canada. 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 Canada is a big place, though. So. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he's with Janine. I mean, he's with um, Larry and um, Larry and Adrian. Uh, both live in the city where I live. Calgary said it. Yeah. yeah. Oh. So. Does anyone know where Calgary is? Uh huh. It's a yeah. time zone over. Uh, one time zone over. And that. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's it's up and over. Over. I, I, I can. Standard time. I don't know the Laurie knows Mike. You know each other? Mike, who? Mike. Sorry, Kyle. What am I saying? Oh, Kyle. <laughs> Hi, Kyle, same thing. Sure, Kyle. Yeah. Hey, Kevin. Hey, Kevin. Hi, okay. Just checking the room. So, so Kyle, I have you know, I'm, I've always been impressed by your trivia skills. Yeah. Are you speaking? Oh, and I've seen very much. I mean, I've seen videos of you speaking. So. Ooh. And you're. Did you, did well, you speak at SciCon or some conference? I, I did. I hear you. So I'll speak uh, on Saturday, and uh, I've been at the Monterey Skeptics Conference many years, and I spoke once at Skeptical. Okay, yeah. Okay. He'll be at um, our Skeptic Camp on Saturday, and so will Mono. Yeah, yeah. Great. They're both doing talks. Okay, so let's get our name on the... Name. What did you suggest, Laurie? She froze. Is that my internet or? Yeah, it must be. What did you suggest? I froze. You're freezing again. I suggested I'm coming out, but. I'm coming out. Okay, hold on. Let me try to fix this. Shoot. I know a lot of. Uh gay guys that would absolutely hate it that uh, atheists would use coming out. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Because they own it? Bother that. Yeah, because oh. apparently it's a, well, that's our thing, and it's like, it's... Well, then maybe that's not a good name. It's not yeah. your thing. No, 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 no. And yeah, then I, I would say to them, it's like, it's, it's not your thing. It's just a thing. My gut reaction is the same. There are there are things I feel like people can claim, but maybe not that one. Not mm -hmm. that one. No. Okay. Any other mm -hmm. suggestions? Actually, I am gay too, but not that anyone needs to know. Well, then you actually get a vote. Get a vote. <laughs> I actually get a vote. No. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't really care. Yeah. I think most of us don't, I mean, if we are fortunate, we don't really care and it doesn't matter. 
but it does matter to some people. Yeah. And, yeah. uh, I like fun names because I never get to name names. It's only the second time I've done it. Okay, okay, then Susan, come up with a fun name. Oh, I didn't say I knew any fun names. I just <laughs> like it when you guys come up with fun names. I like yeah, things that the are, name. I like things that are current, you know, they have the, when you go back and you look and you're like, oh, I know what was going on then, you know, Mike Pence. Isn't there anything happening in the news besides the insurrection right now? What about the space telescope? Oh, yeah, the unfolding well, telescope. We did that the other day, but we could talk about that or. We could say party in Florida because AOC is in Florida. <laughs> or we could, how about, how about that um, also, um, uh, what's the the tennis player in, they just got banned from. Um, Djokovic. Djokovic. <laughs> I don't know how to even pronounce that or spell it. Yeah, Djokovic. That's it's, in the news. What else is in? Okay, we have seven seconds. Oh, we're over. Oh, I didn't see a thing telling us we have a thing. Two seconds. <laughs> what the name? See the list of sets we were. I didn't see a thing that said we had a timer on us. Hi, Deborah. I think you're cutting off in the middle of the sentence. Who did that? Hello. <laughs> it said it was giving you guys a minute warning, so I don't know why it didn't work. Nothing. Nothing. We, got the, I saw, we saw the warning. We didn't get a warning. We got a warning. We saw the warning. We just kept talking, though. Oh, I didn't see, I didn't see a warning. Hey, you guys. We didn't, we, didn't, we didn't get names. I've got a name for our team. Okay. So well, since we're fourth, we can... We can you want to go back to your rooms? Everybody needs no, no, a minute. Okay. Yeah, let's go back to oh, our rooms for just okay, a minute. Do it real quick. Okay. I, I have a name too. Okay. Do we need to? No. I mean, I'll, I'll just stick. Here. We don't have to. We've I'm got a stay name. Here. Here we go. Do you... What's I that? I care what I mean. Oh. What'd you say, Mono? Joker Djokovic. Who's that? Djokovic is the tennis player, and he's a joker because he's. Oh, the... Joker Djokovic. Yeah, that's actually kind of good. good. Right. Okay, if you know how to spell it. Uh, yeah, I know how to spell it. Okay, you put it in okay. the chat. Okay, good job. Okay, he's Canadian, I think. No, no, he's Serbian. Serbian. The best joke, or <laughs> like legitimately awesome. No. Either is true. I think it was legitimately awesome. <laughs> yeah, I think it was legitimately. Are you talking about me? No. no. Is Julie playing tonight? <laughs> Um, she's going to be coming in a bit. She'll probably be here in maybe uh, 15 minutes to half an hour, yeah. something like that. But she'll, okay. she'll, she'll be here. All right, Kevin, we're here. Okay. Everybody's here? No. All right. I'm not here. All right. I'm not sure. Mark's not here. Those. What's his name? The name? What we have to the name? give the name. We have to give the, the names. team names. Team number, group, room number one James, Karen, Larry, Paula, and Rob. What is your team name? Well, all right. It's 2022. Feels like 2022. Oh, mm, I saw uh, that somewhere. Oh, 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 yeah. no, put that in the now, chat. I'll put it in yeah, the chat. How do I put that last week? I'll, 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 I'll I'll I'm going to put it in the chat. Yes. Yeah, so I'll handle going. that part. Anything that has to be. Okay. Kevin's background is both Billy Joel, just so you know. Yeah, from 1980 he swears he got and Kevin. 2014. Where the hell did Kevin no, go? I think he swore it's not all oh, wait, Billy. Wait, I found him. I found yeah. him. That's Billy Where my glasses on the left. Mm. I handed him to him. And then that's Billy uh, in 2014 uh, from taken from the second row. No glasses wow. and white hair. Yeah, LASIK. The important thing is he was married to Christy Brinkley. Just to see. In the, <laughs> and in the left I know what the next yes. question is. Who is Christy Brinkley? <laughs> I know better than to open my mouth again. <laughs> well, you probably don't know who he is, but you know his music. You know yeah. what I mean? You're, you have very. <laughs> <laughs> you've never heard. This is you've never heard Piano you Man. Probably. Yeah, you probably heard. Just the way you are. Even if you don't. Uptown Girl. Of Uptown Girl. That's about Christy Brinkley. Only uh, the good yeah, die young. Only the good die about young. About Elle McPherson and Christy Brinkley. Was originally was Uptown so Girl. It's Faith and Romero. Oh, we, we didn't start the fire. And, and Cindy Crawford, right? Uh, no. He dated, dated Elle McPherson. He dated Elle McPherson first, then he broke up with her and dated Christy. Are we getting our trivia now? <laughs> no, this is not <laughs> trivia. I'm not doing a Billy Joel category. Whoa. <laughs> okay, so. Next All that studying for nothing. Damn. <laughs> I got you guys good, didn't I? No, yeah. I remember. There is a music category, but it's not Billy Joel. <sighs> music. Everything not Billy Joel. <laughs> <laughs> okay.
Gavin, next group. Who's uh, group room two? Alan, Brandy, Jeff, Julie, Kyle, and Mike. Hi, Mike, uh, by the way. Is Ooh. Billy Joel still alive? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's pretty bad. He lost a lot of weight since the summer, so he, he might be oh. in bad shape. Mm. He lost, hey. lost like 50 pounds since the summer. Oh, wow. Ooh. Wow. <clears throat> he I'm looks really guy. skinny. <laughs> <clears throat> scary for some reason was it will not let me rename the the breakout rooms that's interesting okay go ahead room number three benjamin brian deborah flock bob janine and kitty cat meow who i'm not sure is in that's bob room yet that's, okay that's my wife's ipad gotcha G cubed plus j Oh, and then you added Deborah. Yeah, then we added Deborah. We came up with the name before she joined. <laughs> it always happens. <laughs> There's a deadline. Yeah. And then room number four, Kyle, Lori, Mano, and Vincent. And Susan. And Joseph Susan. Uh. <laughs> Joker Dokovic. Dok Dok Dokovic. You guys all know what that is, right? Yeah, I've seen it written as COVID bitch. <laughs> COVID bitch. <laughs> oh, COVID bitch. <laughs> okay. Okay. I, I want to know how you did the uh, the cubed. I didn't know you could do that in the chat. Yeah, yeah, you I you just Google. Uh, you can go to a website that does the superscript generation for you. I mean, oh. you can use all codes on your keyboard, but that's a pain in the ass. It's mm. much easier just or, or you just find it somewhere and copy and paste. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah I just I just used a generator on online and then copied and pasted it. So this Rob, is. Are you gonna are you gonna be there tomorrow? On the call, because I've got a document that has all those. It's broken down by categories. Tomorrow. <laughs> yes. Right. It, yeah. I'll send. I'll. I'll send. I'll okay. Post it. Cool. So we're on game number 88, season two, episode 31. Kevin's in charge. That's what we should have called it. Kevin's in charge. I would like to think that uh, my theme is going to be a little different. They're all different categories, totally different from each other. But we're going to start the night as if you're welcome. I'm el welcoming to my restaurant. Ooh. And would you like a drink? Sure. The first category is identify these these cocktails by the photo and the ingredients. Oh, I've deleted cool. I've deleted the names, and I've deleted any ingredients that are in the names. Oof. Okay. Name and ingredients. If the ingredients are in the name, I deleted it. Can you oh, see okay. that screen? Not yet. Full screen. Okay. Well, I see the umbrella, the little umbrella drink behind nope, you. I didn't share it correctly. It looks like horns. <laughs> <laughs> Sticking out of his ears almost. Orange with little guards on them. How about that? Can you see okay. that? No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Welcome to the house of Kevin. <laughs> I will be your waiter boy. May I get you a drink? I was going to say it in French, but I can't say it in French. <laughs> so, will this be available Ooh, online? Vincent can do it. Our, yes, we're, we're I have uh, Google Photos. After this, I'll give you a link to the Google okay. Photos. Okay, so any other questions before I mute? So no? put just put this on, um, uh, what's it called, a screen? I'm so gonna just click thing. through them. I'm gonna click through them so you can read them. Okay. And then and then send you to your rooms with the photos. Okay. So okay, muting while- You don't even have to mute. Just if you wanna click through them quick, we can see. Well, somebody might say something. So I'm gonna Okay, mute yeah, don't say anything. Un unmute mute. yourself. Yeah, mute. So this is the first one. What drink is this? And there's the description. There's the ingredients. Up here, there was a name I deleted and- a... Kevin, can you, can you say a little bit about it? Because the font is small. <clears throat> okay. It says the tangy concoction of vodka, triple sec, lime juice and cranberry juice has been, has managed to leapfrog the venerable screwdriver as many vodka drinkers prefer the prefer the blank, whatever it's called, this drink, and slightly tart taste. The keys to the preparation of a blank are a good 
brand of cranberry juice, Cointreau, triple sec, two, essential, uh, two essential elements to the drink. What, what's, with the the clean, what, what's with the word cleaner off to the right? There's a People word prefer missing. the cleaner and slightly tart taste, the cleaner yeah. taste. Prefer the blank cleaner and slightly tart. There's an ingredient that was listed there. Oh, okay, but when you read it, you left the word cleaner out. So I didn't see it. It's I, bleach, yeah, have... Rob. There's bleach in it. Oh, thank you. It's probably <laughs> drink apostrophe S. Uh, I'm not sure, but well, later you, you know, you'll be able to see but, it all. Like that's a way to interpret it. Yeah. One, one question before we go on is, does this question have two answers in that case? Uh, uh, no, 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 no. It's it's the name of the drink Same is blank. what I'm looking for. These are like the top okay. 10 most popular drinks, but because everybody would argue, well, are they really the top 10? I just want you to identify them, but these are pretty popular drinks. But we don't have to fill in those blanks. We just have no, to- No, you just have to fill in the title of it. But I left off some pieces that might've given it away. Like if this was the name, if it said, if it was a screwdriver, I would have whited out the word screwdriver. Okay, perfect. So that's the so first So now one. we know none of them are going to be a screwdriver, huh? That's right. That's a good hint. <laughs> Here's the next one. The blank, complementing summer perfectly with a fresh minty taste. The mixture of white rum, mint, lime juice, sugar, soda water is crisp and clean and relatively low alcoholic alcohol content. The soda water can be replaced with Sprite or 7-Up when preparing a blank. Always crush the mint leaves as opposed to dicing to unlock the oils that will assist with enhancing the minty flavor. And there are the ingredients. <clears throat> that sounds really good. These are the top 10 according to this. They are pretty good. Site. And some people will know them. And some people will know others. I had, I knew 7 out of 10 before I, when I took it myself. That's why I thought it's a good category. Next one. The blank is a Polynesian style cocktail that has a fruity tropical taste, sweet and vibrant. The mixture of light and dark rum, orange, caraco, I think that's supposed to be orange, I'm not sure, or get syrup and lime juice has been a symbol of Tahitian culture ever since the drink was first created. I think you would say Curacao. Yeah, Curacao, Curacao that's correct. The concoction of bourbon, a little bit of water, powdered and granulated sugar, and blank has long been a very popular way to drink a cocktail. Simple, yet refined. And there's the ingredients. Originally based on a remedy to cure Spanish flu, the national drink of Brazil is made with cacacha, I don't know, spirit from a sugar cane of white rum, vodka, brown sugar, and lime juice. And there's the ingredients. And I'll send you all the pictures in a, in a link. Mixture of tequila, Triple sec lime juice is often blended with ice, traditionally served on the rocks. The cocktail is generally presented in a salt rim glass. Various fruity versions have been adapted from the traditional lime, such as raspberry, peach, and strawberry. My wife's favorite drink. The classical tropical cocktail with a distinctive look and taste, more of a smoothie as opposed to an alcoholic beverage. The modest yet perfect blend of coconut milk, rum, and pineapple juice has been a firm favorite throughout the years. This one I did not know. It's a tough one, but maybe you guys know it. Blank, as used by the red hot chili peppers, that's a hint, means the mixing of different cultures. The cocktail reflects this with the various spirits used within the cocktail from all over the world, a mixture of rum, Vodka, tequila, and gin finished with orange liqueur, lemon juice, and orange juice to mask the various spirits used throughout. Strong yet sweet. The cocktail is finished with either a slice of orange or a twisted peel of orange rind. <clears throat> Number nine, one of my favorites. A cocktail that never goes out of style. 
the potent concoction of rum, tequila, vodka, gym, and triple set, finished with a mixture of sweet and sour, cola, and lemon juice. Blank isn't actually an addition to the drink, drink but the ingredients used, predominantly the cola, provide the profile of blank with much more flavor. The blank or blank adds a twist to the typical dry blank. Vodka is used <clears throat> as opposed to gin as the basis of the cocktail and blank schnapps is added for a sweet but slightly sour twist. The cocktail is usually finished with lemon juice and garnished with a slice of blank. Simple but tasty. And you can see in the ingredients, I had to delete some of the words because they are in the title. And finally, there is a bonus. I don't have a photo in my group for this one. So you might wanna take a screenshot of this if you don't know what it is. I don't have this in my other one. This is a very popular drink in, and it starts with an S and the second word is bowl. So it's something bowl. And it's uh, usually there's two or four straws and you share it at uh, restaurants. So this is the bonus one. Okay, you guys ready to go to your rooms? And I will send um, the ready. link. Okay. So I assume there's not a slow, comfortable screw up against the wall in, in this uh, slide. Yeah, that's probably not as popular as it used to be. <laughs> I'm trying to find the link. I know what that is though. Slow gin added to a screwdriver and Right. I'm trying to find a way to Google Photos. Uh, it should be share up in the upper right hand corner. It's the share. See it? And not the yet. orange part of the thing. I'm trying to highlight my um my link. To That'll put it do it. You can hit the share button and, and copy link. In the chat, I will put. Oh, you got it? Yeah. That seemed to work. Someone check it and see if it works, and then I will. Yep, looks okay. good. Yeah, works. So how do I send them to the rooms? Uh, go to breakout, just like you did the originally. I, I have something that says close all rooms. I don't want to do that. Oh, you should be a. There should be a, a send people all the rooms. Open rooms is usually what it's called. Yeah, but the bottom of my screen it says join breakout room, so maybe they're all open anyway. If we I go think the, I think they are. Yeah. Could be. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm seeing the same thing as Kevin is. It just says close all rooms or broadcast message to all. So I can't be this. Huh. You're still screen sharing. Maybe it's yeah, that's a good point. Uh, stop the screen stop share. Screen share. Oh, people might have just come back from the rooms before and we know. Oh, that's, oh, that's right. what it was. We didn't close rooms. That's right. Okay. All right. Just go to your room, you guys. Yeah, how do you I know what number nine is. Oh, good, because I don't, I think I know like one, two, three. What about you? We are missing somebody. Yeah, missing number that. number nine is. Yeah, um, we're missing Lori. Number nine is Long Island iced tea. Oh, is that what that was? Yeah. As a lifetime, lifelong non-drinker, I am going to be totally useless in this category. Yeah. I don't drink much either, Mono, that's, but I, I knew a few. That's the only one that I knew was that one. So who's Thank keeping uh, track? Who's keeping score for us? Can we nominate? Oh, Kyle? I can do that, sure. Oh, Kyle's great. got it, okay. So number one, what do you guys think? I have to go back and look. I didn't know that one. Yeah. Let's look at the, uh, let's see here. Vodka, cognac, cranberry juice, sour mix. It's the sour mix that gets me. What's it sour mix for? Isn't there a sour? Uh, is this, oh, maybe the see. It could be a Manhattan, except there's no cherry. Is that? You guys, I can go get my husband. He's a drinker. 
<laughs> Give us a chance. We'll see. Okay. Um, this is probably one of the most popular because it's it's more than the the screwdriver. Number so one. could it no. be in Manhattan? Let's put that for now, but it doesn't make sense. I don't. I. It, I don't think so. Okay, number two is mint julep, right? Uh, oh, I put There's mojito. Uh, or a mai tai, a mojito. 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 I okay. have mojito. Yep. Mojito. Mm -hmm. For two. Three is mai tai. Mai tai, yeah. Mm -hmm. Four, something from Kentucky. Um. Hmm. Where is number four? What is it? This could be a mint julep. Because it has a Kentucky. Yeah, that makes sense. I think it's mint in the julep. wrong. It should be in a copper thing, though. But let's. It put has it. that piece of mint on the edge, so I bet you it is a mint julep. Okay. Five. Uh, five. I put a, five. I didn't put anything. Rum, lime, and sugar. Um, the the iv ivermectin. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's from Brazil. <laughs> mm. You come back. How do, yeah. you, how do you say that? Two ounces of this rum. What is it called? Cur Curso. Oh, no. Um, oh, cachaca. Cachaca. Does that bring ring a bell? Also, well, it, it might be Spanish. It's Mexican, maybe drink. Cachaca. Cachaca. Um, uh, oh, Isabella's here. Where am I putting her in? Oh, ours. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. rum. Okay, so it's um, lime. I don't know. Let's come back. Yeah. Because it gets kind of easy now. Right. Okay. Six so is the most Mar obvious. Yeah, margarita. Margarita, yeah. Seven's pina colada. Yep. Eight, no idea. I put yeah. for I put Fergie <laughs> because it's not. because Red Hot Chili Peppers wasn't she a singer with the Red Hot Chili Peppers? Red Hot no. Chili Peppers is all guys. Oh, oh no no I was thinking of the no okay I got that wrong no it I, may be a Tequila Sunrise. Ooh no that could be Sunrise it. is it should be layered but it's not in the picture. At number number which number eight 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 no it, uh, that has vodka. Um, vodka gin rum and tequila oh, yeah. it, tequila sunrise is tequila orange juice and grenadine oh there you're right that's right california is there a drink that has the word california in it because that's the red hot chili peppers are a very california band mm. okay you'll, you'll be asking your husband about that in a minute yeah I, Mine I, is I, long, I, island. long island yeah oh here's romero I'm going to bring him into our room because that's probably the next room we should we should put him in. So he'll know these probably. He's I'm going to call my husband. He's in the house. I'm outside. We're in room four. And then 10, my guess would be a lime martini. But You're wondering where you guys were. We were in another Zoom meeting. Yeah, they were. Oh, lime martini. Okay, yeah, so that's you guys. Not a thing really. We've got a. We've got a. Um, here, let me give you the link. So we're doing uh, cocktails, and we've got almost all of them. The one okay. we're missing is number five and num number eight. Five, eight, and ten. Okay. Five, eight, and ten. And actually, the bonus. Five, go to five. Oh yeah, the bonus. I just assumed no one knew. <laughs> I've had one. Actually, yeah. I was in Florida. I don't know what, or I've seen it at the table. I remember I have a picture of somebody drinking it. With I have no idea. He's blanked the words that would give it away. Rum, lime, and sugar. It's the national drink of Brazil. Um, is it a mojito? No, we have mojito. Mojito is number two. Okay. All right. When you were. What's the other what one? What is it? Eight and uh, ten? Number eight. Yeah, it was number eight. It has something to do with the red hot chili peppers. He, he used that as a hint. Do you know that? So I was thinking it might have something to do with California. How about a Californication? 
Is that a drink? Oh, is that it's a red hot, chili red, red hot chili peppers? I would hey. call it Californication. But that hey. is a real drink. I never heard of it. We, we, I'm in trivia right now. You got and and we have some questions about drink. Can I can I phone a friend? Is that fair? If he's in the house. No, he's not in the house. Yeah. My but that, that's what I would guess it would be. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I can't I can't use you guys. Sorry. The, the category is cocktails. Oh. What's the question? No, we can't. That's cheating. You're not in the house. Not in the house. I have to ask that. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Come join us Bye. next time. Bye. Who was it? That's my daughter and her boyfriend. Oh, <laughs> they're like, usually oh, here. Oh, <laughs> oh. Yeah, number ten is an apple teeny. A what? What is it? Apple teeny. That's oh. exactly right. You nailed it, Faith. I have never heard of that. Yeah, it's a it's an apple flavored martini with vodka instead of gin. Did we figure out what number five was? Yep. Well, let's okay. do the bonus. What's the bonus? Man, I'm really impressed that you guys know all this stuff. <laughs> I got to oh. get a hold of my husband. I'm just going to go. I'm in the little cottage outside of our house. Oh, Is it okay if I go into the house? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Which one's the bonus? Five and the As long as it's one tax parcel, that should be the rule. It is. Yeah, the, <laughs> the bonus one isn't in here. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. The bonus is one of those big... Um, Tahiti looking well, it's got straws on it from all angles, and people drink out of it. Fishbowl, yeah, it does. It's not called, it doesn't look like a fishbowl, look like a big Tahitian thing. And it's on fire, right? I they may put it on fire, but generally, when you order a drink to share with like a whole bunch of other people, you're drinking from the same thing, it's called a fishbowl. You're right, yeah. I've never had one, but the thing is, there's a picture that we saw that you didn't get to see. I don't think it's a part of the photos. It was separate. No, it's and it's, it's, so I know what Faith is talking about. It's a definitely a thing, but it doesn't match the photo we saw. Because in the photo, there's, it's like actually on fire. Which so is not like a property necessarily of a fishbowl drink. Yeah, that is a mojito. How do you drink, how do you drink something that's on fire? Can you look at this cocktail real quick. The, you put straws in the side of it. The fire is really dumb because it's burning away all the alcohol, which is in theory the main ingredient. Mark was a bartender once. Could you what? tell me what that cocktail yeah, this is? This is, is originally based on a remedy to cure Spanish flu. The national drink of Brazil is made with cachaca. That's a mint julep. Or white rum, brown sugar, and lime juice. I don't know what rum. I don't know what cachaca is. It's a it's a Brazilian rum, probably like a clear uh, rum that isn't too sugary. So it's like a mojito, but no, no the mojito has mint. Yeah, yeah mojitos true. have mint. The mint and sugar are grinded at the bottom. Yeah, that's number two. Yes, yeah, so this is the only one we don't have. No, sorry. Okay, well, thanks. I that's a margarita. I would. That's a pina colada. It would be something. It must be really hard. Number because... one, you guys. Did we get number one? What do we have for number one? We, we, we have Manhattan, Manhattan but we're not confident in it. Oh, okay. This year, Faith and Romero. Is that number Faith? One? Did you guys? What did you have for one? Go for. Go back to one. A cosmopolitan. Oh, precisely. Uh huh. Cool. Wow. But I've always been cheap. So I've only made, well, hold on, a cosmic, go back. How can you just keep it? It's generally just vodka and cranberry juice, though. I think it's a Cosmo because it says it's really popular, and that's a drink I've seen or heard of. But see, yeah. I, was, I always made cheap versions of Cosmos, so I didn't have the other Country. stuff. <laughs> yeah. mix. That was one of the first liquors I snuck out of my friend's parents' cabinet. <laughs> 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 okay, so we got them all. all. Right. Uh, we are five is the only five. thing we don't know, but we got yeah. the bonus. Did you guys get the bonus one too? Yeah, we think okay. so. Even though we haven't seen a picture, Kevin, if you could show me a picture, that would be wonderful. The bonus one, okay. Yes. I'll oh, yeah, change my background. You, if you don't I'll mind. change my background screen to the bonus. Is that Shez Kevin? <laughs> yeah, that's Shay Kevin. Yeah. Okay. That's just a, a restaurant I found out picture online. <laughs> It's a Vietnamese restaurant. I have no idea where it is. I just it just searched for Shake Heaven as a joke. I'm trying to find the cocktail. Let's see. Are we keeping you up, Vincent? <laughs> Sorry. Is he I'm, yawning? I didn't notice. There yeah, it is. I'm there it is. in bed by this time. <laughs>
I know. That <clears throat> might not be what I thought it was. See what I mean? Like, yeah, it's. It looks like a volcano in the middle. It looks Hawaiian. You saw the clue, right? It begins with the letter S. It's two words, and the second let word is bowl. S. Oh, bowl. we forgot that. Okay. Oh, we did. I put sizzling, but that doesn't. Sizzle bowl? I made it up. That's the best we got so far. Sizzling bowl. Sizzling bowl. The only thing is about this one, it's popular in my area. When I talked about it a few months ago, hardly anybody knew what I was talking about. That's why I put it as a But others, it might be, we might not know it. Yeah, it might not be something out in California or hmm. Canada or something like that, but I've it's never... popular in New England. Okay, no. Nathan Romero, why does your computer keep making you blurry? Because we're out of focus. We have to be close together. They drank too many cocktails. No, I've been so... <laughs> I mean, I drank too many cocktails. I've That's not had it. alcohol since November 23rd. I, I know, I'm joking. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> I don't know if I... When the last time I had them? Oh, I did. I had one right before Christmas. I went out to dinner with some friends and I had a drink. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go check the other rooms. You guys I are almost calling done. calling it a sizzling bowl would be. Yeah, that's a good guess. Yeah. Sexy bowl. Okay, we did really good. Well, what about five? Oh, five, three, five. No. Uh, it's one of the top. These are all top 10. So it should be something we probably should know. Yeah. A Let's lime. Okay, so it has something to do with the cure of the Spanish flu. So it has some probably some kind of name that's like, I don't know, wake up or hangover. Or, hmm? I've heard of a Rum lime tonic before. Rum and tonic? Lime tonic? Rum and tonic? There's no tonic in it. It's just it's not, yeah. lime and sugar. Um, Is it a lime switzer? No, because there's no carbonation. Oh, oh. Through would have like club soda or something in it. The national drink of Brazil. Mm. Carnival. Carnival Ooh, a carnival. Ooh, carnival. Is that a drink? Carnival. I don't know. Oh, Jamie and Caspian are here. That's that's nice. White rum or vodka with brown sugar and lime juice. Jamie will know a ton of these. Hmm. A cha 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 cha. Where am I going to put them? Kachaka. Brachaka? Kachaka. Like a rum chata, but that's an entirely different thing. I think it's going to have to be some obscure word that none of us have come up with it. In Portuguese? Like the Brazil. Yeah, like the Brazil connection has to be what this is. Brazilian bomb or the. Um, oh, that's good. Brazilian. I just made it up. But, but, uh, the Brazilian. What about the Brazilian band aid? I like that. If that's not already a drink, let's invent it, Faith. Yes. I don't want to, I wouldn't want to drink a Band-Aid. Well, because it's, well, it's going to fix Spanish flu. Like, it's yeah, supposed to fix yeah. your flu. Or, or yeah. I think it was just something that covers the problem. There you go. The cure. Or maybe this was the inspiration for Sprite. Like, oh, that's I... interesting. Mm -hmm. It could be a Sprite. Although I think I would have heard of, yeah, that is a thing. Oh, I think the Brazilian band-aid is as good as we're going to get because we did good. <laughs> if we got the sizzle roll bowl, we've got we've got eight for sure. Okay. No, we've got nine for sure. I think we've got well, not for sure. We number one. Are we Does sure? Does anybody know anything about jujitsu? No. Jiu oh, let's call it the jujitsu. That sounds. No, I don't know. Because that's big in Brazil. The jujitsu. I like that. I, give me a jujitsu. A double jujitsu. The cup. Capoeira? That's, that's not Brazilian. Yes, Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Is that a thing? Yeah, that's the like that's the extent of my knowledge of Brazil. They do jujitsu. They, they, they do capoeira. Oh yeah, huh. that too. What are we coming up with, you guys? Ten seconds more. Oh, it has to be. It's a common. It's a common thing. Hurry, hurry, hurry! None of Brazilian band-aid. And let's go with that. Okay, Brazil. that's all we got because we gotta go. Don't spoil it. Hey, Isabel is here. Hey. Yay. Well, we'll assign her to a team. No, I already, after. Did. I already did. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, not, and not Caspian really. and Jamie are here too. Hi, guys. Okay. They're somewhere. Romero's here. And... 
Yeah, I put everybody on Teams because they got here in time. Are we ready? Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to find my co my answers to post. Mm -hmm. Hey Benjamin, you're watching the book of Boba Fett. I just good? finished binging, binging Mandalorian, and I'm so looking forward to Book of Boba Fett. Oh, you haven't you haven't watched it yet? Uh, I haven't watched I'll, it yet, but I'm about to. Won't give any spoilers. Then. They're just and, words. And, and Doesn't Carl, make anything. And Carl told you that you're missing out by not watching the behind the scenes. Oh, right? Mike, are yep. you watching that? Kevin that can fuck himself. <laughs> I, I don't know, but I was just. Uh... <laughs> Kevin. Yeah, me Maybe and my wife watched it already. Really mean to our to our host. I got so through two or three watch. episodes. I couldn't. It's I, it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. I couldn't buy it. It was just got a little too dark for me. I miss friendship what, breaking bad. Between the women, it's really about? good. What you talking Kevin about? Kevin can go fuck himself. It's a movie. It's a TV sitcom. show called Kevin Can Fuck Himself. It's called. It's like a sitcom, <laughs> sort of. It's a sitcom, and then it turns into a doc it's thing. It's like a sitcom, but husband. it's not funny. It's filmed yeah, it's with <laughs> two different kinds of cameras. One is a sitcom camera with a like sitcom a camera with a laugh funny. track, and and like sounds like you have a live studio audience. But when the main character goes into her kitchen or outside the door, it goes to like being filmed like a dark it sounds very confusing i don't like that oh no it's it's, it's an interesting premise i just thought it got really it's the dark. girl from schitt's creek is in it she's good oh okay Wait, which which girl the waitress or the daughter the, the daughter the daughter who's them. who's not the real daughter in real life right. the, waitress is the one the who's not really yeah, the daughter. one who's not related to the, to the, to so the, the show the show makes followers. fun of sitcoms you know the beautiful wife with this really <laughs> unattractive dumb <laughs> husband character and you know she's the brunt of all the jokes and you know what show are you talking about I was ma on married with children no kevin go <laughs> go fuck himself so it's, it's killing me can i have the i gotta get the answers you're killing me here oh, yeah. okay. we know kevin can go fuck himself but what's the name of the show <laughs> <laughs> there went our pg rating okay go ahead kevin can i'm trying you. to find the answers <laughs> oh, <Where are you>? <laughs> Well, since we're waiting on answers, here you go for, for Jeff, since he just watched the show. I can't see him. Oh, yeah. Your background is... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there we go. I'll put it... As long as I put it in front of my face, there's Mando and there's yeah. uh, there's Krogu. Oh, I, just, oh I, just, I saw you were doing Legos with yeah, the kids. Yeah, me, me, me and the kids all built uh, Lego oh. sets. So this is the How one that fun. I built. My, my sister-in-law fell in love with uh, Baby Yoda without ever yeah. seeing The Mandalorian. And when she just came last month, I played her one episode. It's like it was the oh, first yeah. time she actually saw it in a movie. She's only seen like you know figures and on T-shirts and like whatever made out of Baby Yoda. She actually you never saw the, the character in any Yoda. video. Wow. I've never seen it yeah. either. It's very good. It it makes you realize. Oh, Kevin's got the answer here. How sad you are that the movies suck. <laughs> okay, Kevin. Yeah, oh, I, I I looked much more forward to episodes of the Mandalorian than I did to the to the latest uh yeah Favreau was just he, he I don't know about I don't know the Mandalorian but he's right yeah, 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 okay we're gonna get the answers now okay. the answers. Okay. They, they list them in uh, reverse uh, order uh, you can figure it out can't you or should I go from the bottom up we'll roll with it go with the okay. bottom up it's fine number 10 number 10 the apple martini Oh, okay. damn, we got that wrong. We said Apple no, Teeny. No, did not. That's Apple Teeny is acceptable. Wrong. Apple Teeny. I know. Apple don't, volunteer, don't volunteer to give away it, points. It says Jeez. right there. Apple Teeny. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Number nine, yeah. the Long Island. Good old Long Island. Yeah. I had Number too many eight, Californication. Oh, oh wow. yes. Uh, oh, nine. That was a Karen, yeah. Nine was Long Island iced tea. Okay. Or Long Island iced tea. Long Island. Long, Island. Long Island, yeah. Californication, number eight. Number seven, the Pina Colada. They didn't yeah. get the spell Getting right. caught in the rain. Pina. Number, <laughs> Pina number, six, number six is a margarita. <clears throat> a frozen margarita. Well, uh, margarita's okay. It's fine. Yeah, that's it's fine. Salt. With salt. Yeah. Did anybody oh. get number five? Yes. yes. Very it's good. a great drink. I think Paula got it. We could oh, get it. See. What? Mm -hmm. Tom and Lily would make those all the time. I love that drink. How do you say oh, it? What is the answer? I think is believe how they said it. I never pronounce it right. I think you even spelled it right, Paul. 
We put capoeira with that. Kind of <laughs> Chupacabra. 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 Yes. yes. Oh, we have heard of that. that. It's my photo that. right now. If you're looking at my Kevin, face, yeah, I'd like to that. ask a question of the group. Has anyone ever ordered, seen anyone ordered, or made a Californication? No. Me neither. Well, we better get started, Karen. Come on. I've heard of them though. We <laughs> only get because good. of because of the song, you yeah. know. But I've never heard of it as a drink. Neither have I. Right. Sounds good. Well, it is number eight. <laughs> Well, because I said that we were going back and forth and because of the the uh, the name of the Red Hot Chili Peppers, I said, is there a drink that has something to do with California? Because they're a very California band. And then I think it was Faith goes, how about a California occasion? I'd never heard of it before. Right, because they have a song. Yeah, I mean, it, oh, yeah. California song, right? yeah. it looked, I mean, it looks like the recipe for a screwdriver with a little bit of orange liqueur in it. No, there's more rum. There's more. Oh, there's a link to that page that I shared. There's a link in the chat if anybody Pop wants to double check things. 10 popular cocktails. Very good, Kevin. So let's do yeah, scores. Cool. And I have heard of a scorpion bowl now that I see it. And Brian, this is what this is. And Mike, what did your college friends used to call it? I've had bowl? that. It's very good. It's excellent. For, for a pre mix made. Long Island iced tea, it's very good. That must be it's, you incredibly can, it's expensive. It's a lot of sugar. But it's really Mike good. and his college friend used to do something. What'd you do, Mike? Go bowling. Well, I did, yeah. I said, <laughs> bowling. Let's but, go bowling. <laughs> yeah, there's a different drink for that. The scorpion ball. You know, those pina coladas, my uh, ex-wife and I used to both like them, and then we found out we were both trying to cheat on each other. Yeah? Did you Did you like to get caught in the rain? Did you write a song? <laughs> Are you not into yoga? No. Yeah. I have, I have <laughs> half a brain. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the dunes on the Cape. Yeah, that's Massachusetts. Make love at midnight. That song, though, they're neither of them is very upset that the other one was trying to cheat on them. Yeah, no, that's kind of strange. Back, they just get back together, cheating on each other with each other. Unbelievably, my brother-in-law and uh, sister-in-law that happened too. <laughs> really? Oh wait, this is being recorded. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. Try sure them no. record. Too late. Don't show this to your family. So one thing we to need. Notice, so we need scores. I mean, this is a UK publication. Yeah. Grogu even comes out. Oh. Oh. Evan, come on. You All need right. scores. You team, I don't know the team names. You're going to have to go through Just them. Just say I don't team have one. The, I don't have the team names. 2022 feels team like 2022. We got a perfect score. Oh. What? How dare you? How dare you? You bunch of drunks. He was supposed to drink more, so he got the questions wrong. <laughs> Is Billy Joel still alive? And and last I heard, oh man, B cubed plus J and and D. <laughs> Seven. We're not starting off. So Joker Jakovic. We're, we're not alcoholic enough. Yeah. Yeah. Can we get nine. We got nine. Nine. The only one we missed was. Um, Five. We call but it the Brazilian Band-Aid. But you got the bonus too, right? No. no. We call it the Bowl. I only heard of it. I, I once you said it, I go, oh, that is a scorpion. I'll, so, I'll pour myself some Long Island iced tea to drink my sorrows away. Oh. <laughs> okay, good. So we got 10, 10, 7, and 9. We're playing with four teams this week. So this should be different. Good. Okay, wow. Kevin. All Grab right. Me. I don't have to give you anybody else permissions or you anything. Smell the alcohol. <laughs> Now we're ready for category two already? Mm -hmm. Yes, we are. All right. This is what I like to call a mystery category. Uh -oh. I like doing those on you guys. Oh, they're because oh. Yeah, that's there's fun. a common theme, but don't worry about it. Don't think too much about it, okay? Don't worry about it. Now that's all I'm gonna <clears throat> think about. Okay, muting everybody. Un unmute yourself, Kevin. All 
All right, I got to get my list. Round two, random trivia, I call it. Question one. I'm going to say something, and it has a question at the end. I'll put it in the chat as well. Frankie didn't even know her name. He was never going to be the same. Pause. Felt a rush like a rolling ball of thunder, spinning my head around and taking my body under. When? So that's all one big hint, and you have to, the answer is when. I want to know when. And then the next one is a big story from a newspaper. The following are excerpts from a sports story ending with a trivia question. <clears throat> it was Halloween night when the New York Yankees shortstop Derek Jeter stepped into the batter's box in the 10th inning of game four of the 2001 World Series against the Arizona Diamondbacks. The tragic events of September 11th led to a brief postponement of the regular season, pushing the entire schedule back a week. After following off the first pitch, Jeter swung and missed at the second. It appeared that his struggles at the plate would continue against the sidearm pitching Kim. After looking at a pitch that was low and outside, Jeter fouled off two more in what was building as a lengthy at bat. Jeter's contact on Kim's ninth pitch was good, not great, but his opposite field drive traveled down the line of a stadium with one of the shortest right field porches. 314 feet to, to the corner in baseball. Jeter was rounding first base as his shot barely cleared the wall, leading him to slow down to a home run trot as he pumped his right fist in the air. His teammates had already surrounded home plate as he rounded third base. And as Jeter made his final hop onto a mass of humanity to end the game, a fan held up a sign that would make its way to the back pages of the New York tabloids later that day. What did the sign say? I'm going to post that whole thing in the there. I'm not sure if it all went in yet. Only half went in. You yep. exceeded the character limit. Yep, that happens. I don't have a clue. So where did I leave off? Uh, chat. I, I actually remember watching that, although I have no idea about the sign. Don't talk. Don't talk because don't you could give it away. Don't tell you. Uh, was rounding it first happened base. in Rob's lifetime. Yep. Or his his memory of watching. Oh, well, they said September 11th. Did, Come on. Year, don't, yeah. don't. We got to mute people because you're going to give hints. Somebody's going to get a hint, hint from what you're saying. So it's just rooms. I'm going to post the, post the last paragraph again. Okay. Question three. Besides rice, what else is in a Taco Negreri sushi? I don't know what it is. Taco Negiri. Okay, thank you. Question number four. When does Billy Joe want you to wake him up? Question number five. Who lived from 63 BC to 14 AD and was the first and by most accounts, greatest Roman emperor? These are really bizarre questions. Yeah. But you might find a link and it will help you with the ones you don't know. When did a man sell ice cream and sing El Champari Sivu Sunari? Can you dig it? Yes, I can. When did that man sing that?
Number seven, name the actress who played both Timmy's mom and Will's mom. No further hints required. Now I want to test your memory. I've asked this question before. What is the state flower of Massachusetts? Question number nine, sports related. In 1985, Sports Illustrated writer George Plimpton wrote an article about a rookie pitcher named Sid Finch who could throw a fastball over 168 miles per hour. What was special or unique about this article? Question number 10. Fill in the blank. This United States nonprofit organization works to improve the health of mothers and babies. The organization was founded by President Franklin D. Roosevelt in 1938 as the National Foundation for Infantile Paralysis to combat polio. The name blank, blank, blank was coined by Eddie Cantor. Fill in the blank. Now, there are bonus questions. Oh. Bonus number one. For the year 2021, the most popular air freshener brand in the world is, and there's a multiple choice, Airwick, Febreze, Glade, Osium, Renews It, or Yankee Candle. Multiple choice on that one. And then the final bonus question, what TV character said, Marsha, Marsha, Marsha? Go to your rooms. Any questions? You shouldn't have questions because it will give hints to other people. But okay. if you do have a question, let me know. It does. The, the theme is months in reverse. Oh, December, November, October, oh, September, August. On it. Oh, yeah, because the flower is... How can that be? Because number 10 is March of Dimes. March? March. Oh, duh. And Jan for January. So Febreze is the other one. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, Febreze. Okay, so, so, oh, this is good. Okay. January, February, March. So April, Febreze. Um, oh, February. Oh, yeah. Okay, wait a minute. Four is when... When September comes, five is Caesar Augustus. No, number four is when September ends. Oh, ends, thank you. Wake me yeah. up when September ends, yeah. Number uh, three is octopus. Oh, this is so easy once you know it. January, February, March. 11. Okay. Okay, May flower is the flower. Oh, which number is that one? That's number eight. So, okay, I'm going backwards here. So, so... December is Frank. You didn't know her name. It was what? What's that? Which which no, I'm sorry. number one? December rain. Oh, what a night! Late December, back in '63. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's December. Late December. So, so we're gonna have November for two. What was number two? Or N O V. Okay, two was a long one. So what was it? What was sign? Say N O V. Why would it be N O V? For no, you just have to start with N O V. Yeah. Oh, maybe okay. it was the towers. Maybe they had the towers. Could you know, I kind them? of, I vaguely we'll remember like this. 11. I vaguely remember this. They did hold a whole, somebody held up a sign and it went crazy. It has to do with November. Well, because we're well, remember September 11th, so 11 is November, the 11th month. So maybe it had something to do with like the towers being on it or 11. Yeah, yeah. Okay, think about that a minute. Okay, so October is October. What is three? Octopus. Octopus. Ooh, that sounds disgusting. 
<laughs> octopus is actually pretty good. Um, calamari is what they call it here. No, calamari. No, that's is squid. Good. Oh, that's good. Okay, they're both gross. Yeah. Sorry. So, so that means number five is Augustus Caesar. Yeah. Yes. Oh, and and Billy Joel wants to wake you up in when September ends. When September ends. Wake me up. When September ends. What six? No, he wrote about that that song about his grandmother dying. Ah. Yeah. July. Um, six seven. Name the TV actress who played no, both. What about number six? June. Number oh, number seven is June. Uh, six was what? what? September. No, six has, is when, July. When did a man? When did a man sell ice cream and sing a cumpari si sonari? Can you dig it? Yes, I can. July. July. But there's got to be more to it than July, right? Yeah. Can you dig it? Yes, I can. And I've been waiting such a long time. Oh, yeah, I recognize that now. Uh, but You've what does it have to do with July? A long time. Saturday in the park, right? Saturday. I'm thinking about the 4th of July. July. Yeah. 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 Saturday in the park. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. was an yeah. earworm I used to sing yeah. in the shower. Thinking about the 4th of July. Saturday in the park. I think Every it day's the 4th of July. July. Yeah, I now I recognize it. That's good. That's good. So, Chicago. so number seven is uh, June Cleaver. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, June, no, June. that was that's no, the, the character's the name. Actress. Her June. name was Barbara Billingsley. Is that the answer? Can't be. It's got to be June somebody. It was the TV actress who played Timmy. Is it who June played Timmy? Is Timmy Lassie, like Timmy and Lassie. So who played the mom and Lassie? June, June Lockhart. June. Wasn't there a June Cleaver? Oh, no, that's was, no June Cleaver, but June Lockhart was the actress. Could that be? Let's go with that because we've got the um bonuses, so we're covered. Yeah. Okay. Five is a uh, nine. Nine, we don't know. Eight is eight is the Mayflower. Nine. So it should is... be April. April. What's the question again? This is question. Oh, April. Okay, we're well, coming back to eight. Mayflower nine. is an actual flower. Yep. Yeah. We had that on a question before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I actually remember it. 1985, George Clinton. Okay. And, 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 so fastball. Oh, good. So what's the month that we need? To April. 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 April Fool's Day. What? Oh, that's oh. good. Hey, uh, April Fool's Day. Okay. Yeah, it must be an April Fool's joke because nobody can throw 160 miles per hour. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. April Fool's Day joke. Okay. When I saw that 160 miles per hour, I thought that's. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, yeah. That's. Yeah. <laughs> this is a fun category. I like oh, this. It. But we got really it really quick, fun. though. Frank, can we okay. get number. What do we have for number two? That's right. the one we're struggling with. Uh, two? Yeah, it's November. I believe it's sports. Sign. It's the sign. It's the sign yeah. the guy held up after, uh, after September 11th, after it was postponed. Uh, the game was postponed and he held up a sign and it was a and it was and it went it went viral it, it, well it went into the new york tabloids later that day so obviously it must have been something they were trying to say was a hoax could it tie oh. into that guy fox thing remember remember the 9th of november something like that no it's remember november. remember the, the, fifth, of the fifth, of fifth of november fifth of november oh, that was december no, 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 fifth no, of no. November is Guy Fox Day. That's not related. As anyway. his shot, as his shot barely cleared the wall, leading him to slow home run, and he pumped his right wrist. While we are thinking, about, did we get the bonus two bonus questions? We did. Yeah, yeah but we need that. and Jan Brady. Okay, so oh. gosh, I think we can we only get ten that. points max. Right. Yeah. So the bonuses have us covered. It's oh, just figuring this one out. Yeah. It, yeah, figure we know the answer has got to be November. I think um, number two is just bragging rights if you can get it. Yeah, yeah. His teammates had already seen him. Yeah. That means a lot to me. So, can you guys work on this? <laughs> <laughs> Make it I'm there with the you. Pages of the New York Times. Dan held up a sign that would make it. You know, funny. it might have been a conspiracy thing. You're right. And uh, that's what I'm thinking. November. Wasn't Jeter's number like 11? 
Sorry, I can't help you on any of these. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> Beyond. Uh, November. I have a question. Why would we need this long story? All we need is that as he made <laughs> he's it. Trying to give a hint. Kevin. Kevin is Kevin. trying to give a hint. It's just Kevin. How would he how would he do it if he okay? So if he wanted to tell us this about the sign, how would he have done it? Okay, yeah, let's figure this out. It was Halloween night. No, it couldn't have been Halloween night. No, that's what they said. The, because of September 11th, but it, it was the World well. Series. And so, so it was Halloween night. So it had something to do. I thought when it had something York, to do with September 11th. No, it says here, it was Halloween night when the New York Yankees shortstop Derek Jeter stepped into the batter's box in the 10th inning of game four of the 2001 World Series against the Arizona Diamondbacks. Yeah, it's an awful lot of detail in there. I don't think we need. Well, maybe there might be something in there. Well, is it? Hold on. I think is it? Can baseball go to an eleventh inning? Yes, it can go infinite technically. Yeah. So what if what if Jeter forced it to go into the eleventh inning? And Jeter's jersey was like the eleventh number of the team. Eleven, eleven, eleven. But that yeah. But eleven is it exactly might have been November. Just well, it says it ended the game. It says he ended the game. Oh, it did. He? Okay. Yeah, and that that last paragraph. Oh, the you know what the sign that oh, I was thinking it was nine eleven. That might have been the final score. If there was a guy on base and he hit the home run, but the sign was already made, so it wasn't like somebody just said, "Oh, hey, hold, here I'm going to write it really quick." It was something that was already made, right? That somebody what if the score for some political or whatever what reason. if the score was 9 11. but we're trying to get november at least nov or 11. or what if it was like remember 9 11. 11 remember november but, it, but 9 11 isn't really november that's september but the 11 it, is the 11 uh, november is the 11th month I still don't think it's 11 is enough for a November. Well, it has to do something with 9-11. Yeah, yeah because that's, that's that's something that somebody the made. last day of October and November was starting. It was a sign day. somebody had made. Here comes Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Hi. Oh, oh, there's a picture. Yeah, but it doesn't tell us Derek Jeter's number. I swear it's, um, I think for sure it had something to do with 9-11. I really mm -hmm. do. Um, but it wasn't. What if it was just? Well, the that's why it has to have something to do with 9 11 because why would it be in the tabloids and all that? Right. Why would somebody hold up a sign? A little bit scandal. What if he broke some sort of record that night? And, and the person came prepared in case he did? Well, people would know sure. whether a record was going to be broken. Yeah. What would They're tracking that. Um. Like maybe he was about to break some most number of home runs in a period of time, but 9-11 put it in jeopardy because they delayed a game. Most runs in a November? No, because it was October um, 31st oh. was the end last game. Well, it's a day into, oh, could have been one day. Remember he stepped up on, oh, he stepped up on Halloween and the game is over on November. Well, how would the guy with the sign know that or the woman with the sign know that? Because it was it was the thirty first, so and the game ran late because the it went ran to into November. Inning. I think so. it's a word or phrase that starts with N O V, and that's what we're looking for. Yeah, I think so too. Novel novelty. And yeah, yeah, something along those lines. Navajo. No, Navajo is in A. It has something to do with eleven. Mm. No, I don't think it has anything to do with eleven. Okay, but. I wouldn't sell my child or anything for that. <laughs> I hope you. Have you guys got all the answers? All except but this for that one. one. Number yeah. two. Have you noticed the theme at all? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. That's why we okay. know it has something to do with November or eleven. Or nov. Novice. I don't know. Yeah, that's like a good insult, right? Novice. What is it in Spanish? You didn't see anything. No. November in Spanish. November. 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 Okay. In OV. Mm -hmm. 
and it would be the. Did Jeter uh, ever have a slang name that had something to do with the number? You know what? Wait a minute. It was the ninth pitch. It was the ninth pitch. So I bet the sign said 9 11 because it was the ninth pitch and he scored the 11th run. And that might have been why they picked that up. No, I'm, I don't know. I don't know. She's finding I, connections. I think we're going to get her entered into QAnon. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, there's just She's going to start drawing strings mm -hmm. and putting them on yeah, you know, yeah. her walls. There. I would go with that. Like, let's just say the sign said 9 11. Mm -hmm. And that it was the ninth pitch, the eleventh score. I don't think game. we have to describe it. How about we just say this? The sign said, "Well, what is nine eleven? Seriously, come on, that's not no November. Nine eleven, never forget. Is like if it started that soon. I'm going with end of eleven. 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 It might have just been an eleven. What did What did you say, Romero? Nov, like uh, Kyle was saying. Okay, I'm I'm more with the nov. Okay. It doesn't matter. Is is there a Roman numeral N mean something? No. No. Nope. But O and V. V does. V does. Not O. I guess O means zero. No so V. Zero. No V. No V. Yeah. Do the Romans have a zero? Do the Romans? I was no wondering that too. I don't know if they did. No V. <laughs> Right. Um, yeah. So it's yeah. There, there, there were a lot of reasons. Difficulty. Yeah. And and then you have the people that uh, keep the fact that they have COVID uh, from others, <laughs> like that picture that they shared, Carl, in our group. We have a group. Oh of, yeah. Uh, a group <laughs> uh, messenger where we share stuff, and somebody was on a plane, and they zoomed in on their phone, and they were typing a message to someone saying. We have COVID. Shh, don't tell anyone. Oh, how uh, would you have zoomed in on something like that to know to zoom on it at the right time? Somebody was typing that. That's a. That's got to be a meme. Who knows? It could be. Yeah. I mean, it's clearly a picture of someone holding their phone. It, it, like, it sounds like it's a setup. It could have been fake where the person, they knew the person in front of yeah. them and they just told could them to be. type. It could have been fake, but we we, yeah. we did get we do we do have Zoom photos of Mike Lindell walking into the White House and can read it on his paper. <laughs> About how right, to overthrow Kevin. the government. We're all back. The uh, a friend of mine is ready for uh, answers. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Does anybody want to sing the first one? Karen. Karen likes to sing these. Oh, what yeah. a <laughs> I'll sing it. Oh, what you're what new, Karen. Karen you're you're new, Karen. September back in '63. December. The answer is December. Late 19, December. I mean December, not September. Late December. Late December. Late December back. Late in December, 19, back in '63. Yep. What a very special time for me. What a lady. What a night. <laughs> That's my song. Like you knew that one. Three. Oh, what a night. Okay, number two. We have Dang really it. been. Number two is gonna kill the people who didn't get it. I'm gonna share the screen, and you're gonna watch it. Oh man. <sighs> I swear I know this. <laughs> you will know it in a second. Yeah, I know, but I, I'm getting it oh. on record. I swear I remember seeing this. No, no, it's it's sports ball. You had to be watching the World Series. <laughs> no, it went all over. Did you say sports ball, Rob? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Kevin. Sports ball. Come on. I, was, I, I was still pissed about the previous year when my Mets lost to them. Here we there we go. go. And the scoreboard clock in left center field. Reads 12 o'clock, and for the first time in the history of baseball, this is November baseball. A right in it. Told you guys. Right into right field. Jeter is great at that. So if Kim makes a mistake and gets a pitch up and away, Jeter might ride that pitch to the right field seats. And the 3-2 pitch. Swung on a drill to right field. Going back Sanders. On the track. At the wall. See ya. See ya. See ya. A home run by Derek Jeter. He pumps his fist in the air as he rounded first. And the entire Yankee team mobs him at home plate. He is. Oh, Mr. Oh. November. Mr. November. Oh, oh, wait, do, I, do I still get credit if I spelled out the word Mr.? <laughs> and yes, Mr. November. End, Yankees lost. Oh, God, I, oh. No, I didn't know that one. I thought it had something to do with. Never mind. I did say that it was Halloween, right? And then it went into the next day, right?
You did. did say it, but I you did say that, but wrong. I didn't have it right now. Was it Reggie Jackson also called Mr. November? No, Mr. October, October, October. To, which is why they created the Mr. November, because it was a new thing, because it was the oh, first time it was ever played in November. Ooh, the answer to played. number three is, of course, octopus. Yay. Mm -hmm. Not October. Because it has oct in it. Yeah, That's an abbreviation for October. Mm -hmm. Number four is a Green Day song, Wake Me Up. When September ends. Yay. Mm -hmm. Number oh, five I is Augustus Caesar. Mm -hmm. I thought it was Caesar Augustus. No? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's right. He's don't care. He's dead. Anyway. If you notice the pattern. Yell special about it. Yeah, we got the, the pattern is order. from the bottom up. January, February, March, April, May. And this Very is the clever. new year. So this is a calendar. Mm -hmm. Very the clever. Is. I think everybody got it. Anybody want to sing number six? No. <laughs> Lori will. Lori is your girl. I think it was, it was the 4th of July. July. There we go. We okay. smiling, people laughing. A man, a man selling, selling ice cream. Singing Italian song. song. Yeah. The band oh, okay. Chicago. Great song. Saturday okay. in the Park. Of course, the answer is June Lockhart for the next one. Yay. From, Yay. from Lassie and Lost in Space. Mm -hmm. yes. And then number eight is the Mayflower. I remembered it from the last time. <laughs> I did remember yep, So did I. I. I did remember that. It was. But just start to see the pattern. I think everybody got it. Mm -hmm. Number nine was a big April Fool's joke. Yep. Mm -hmm. If you read the article, Vertically, it's spelled April Fools. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, oh we didn't catch that. We just knew yeah. it. Yeah. If, if you looked up this, mm -hmm. if you had this, the Sports Illustrated issue, mm -hmm. the, the the first line of each sentence, and vertically, it's mm -hmm. spelled April Fools, and nobody caught mm -hmm. it. And there's a big story. They the the team ran with it and everything. They had a really? fake guy that played the part. It was mm -hmm. pretty cool. This is an inside joke for Susan, but I'm gonna the next article I write for Skeptical Inquirer. I'm gonna do that vertical thing, and it says Santa Cruz sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Rob, we recorded this. But, but we had history in Santa Cruz today. Rob, were you here when we, we talked no, about No, it's a person's alias. It's not the location. Sorry. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> but there but was history in Santa Cruz today. Oh. I do have that to bring up. Be careful, Rob. You've heard about George Rabb's past legal problems with the song, haven't you? No. Oh. He, look, I, but pro, somewhere, I don't know if, it's, if he has a Wikipedia article, but on him, but he he wrote a song, and that was basically Crashing about his someone, yeah. and 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 they sued him, and he claimed it wasn't about them, but uh, I think he lost. <laughs> One of his podcasts, he reads the transcript from the trial. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Number nine was what? April Fools. April Fools. Oh, right. joke. And number ten was March, March of Dimes. Dimes. And the breeze, the breeze, the breeze. Number eleven. I had. I didn't put eleven there. Bonus one was eleven. The breeze and bonus two is Jan. And if you read them from the bottom up, I didn't want to put them from the top down. I made it too easy. But mm -hmm. everybody got it. It was still too easy. It was easy, but it was fun. That was fun. Yeah, that was cool. It was fun. Well, interestingly, we we all got it. it was months pretty quickly, but it took. We were all done, and then finally James goes, "Oh, from the bottom up, it's in order." <laughs> <So>. <laughs> <laughs> I watched one team bias. struggle with <laughs> struggle with four and four and six or something. They were going, yeah. what song? It was hard. We had some good song people on our team, so we were okay. Okay, scores. So we're gonna start with um, we had Karen. That was it. <laughs> oh yeah, you get, if you got Karen, you're fine. B three, B cube plus J D. Well, we're gonna take the two bonus from this round and put it on our previous round if that's allowed. <laughs> Nine for the first round. <laughs> so, what'd you get on this round? Ten. Ten. I mean, twelve. But you know. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, points, Joker Dukovnik. We got ten. Right? Ten. We got ten. Okay. So, is Billy? Well, Joel we actually still got alive? eleven, but we're only claiming ten. That's true. We is have to Billy Joel still I think alive? everybody got a ten on this one. Twelve. <laughs> okay. Okay. And twenty-two feels like twenty-two. 
12 slash 10. Okay, got it. So everybody's got 10. All right. So five minute break. Oh, wait, wait. Picture, photo, photo, photo. Nobody move. Can we see the spots too? Yeah, I'll show you in a second. Okay. Okay. okay so everybody go. look good. We're trying. Oh, there's Julie. Hi, Julie. I hate Jita. I don't, okay. shouldn't have uh, my uh, background. Carl, you want everybody looking? I think you guys are really starting to like this. I used to have a lot of trouble. Getting Put my mask on. I got gotcha. you. I used to have a lot of trouble getting you guys to to do your thing, and now you're. Oh, you're... look at the kitty. Can we just do it faster so we can get it done with. Yeah. So five minutes, y'all. You take the picture. Did you get it? Yeah, a long time ago. Oh, <laughs> well, thanks for lovely you to let us know. I said I got it. Got it. I got don't think it. I'm in the picture. I went out to get my mask. Wait. No, oh, you're in here. It. Here's what Grogu would look like if he was a bunny rabbit. What? Oh. <laughs> I just his ears. Grogu. Grogu bunny. Yeah. Here's a bold statement for Kevin's benefit. Derek Jeter is the worst defensive shortstop of all time to spend a long period of time at shortstop. Oh, snap. Yeah, that makes sense because he spent so much time there that he made a lot of errors. Uh. Omar's better. <laughs> no range to his left. Okay, five minutes, y'all. So oh. you could, if you want to get all your sports ball talk out while I'm going to the bathroom, that would be okay. <laughs> no, I'll wait until you come back. Hey, I'm not even a fan of Derek Jeter, but that was quite a moment, you know, and it really yeah. was pretty cool. I was actually pissed at them for losing because all right, so I was a Mets fan my whole life. And then of course I drilled into the the previous year's World Series. The Mets made it to the World Series for the first time in forever, played the Yankees, and they they played awfully. I don't remember what if they won one game, but the Yankees beat them handily. And then okay, after 9-11, New York deserves it. It's the Yankees versus whoever the hell the Yankees have to win, and they didn't win. That pissed me off. Change my background so I feel better. There you go. The company I work for actually did some of the work you see there. Some of the metal so, work. Remember, you guys are all still being recorded. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. None of, none of my statement was in any way uh, all that controversial unless you are a major uh, sports writer. But I'm of the yeah, you, that sports you writers are among the lowest form of life on earth. So <laughs> Caspian knew it right away. He was like, Mr. November. I'm like, you guys made it easy. Yeah. <laughs> I made well, it too my easy. Friends are sports writers. Well, well not, not just that. The whole figured out the whole pattern even before we had gotten answers yeah. to all the questions. So yeah, that it was, it was really too well. easy. It was well, that's why yeah, my, my, I had no recollection of that sign. And I thought it was going to be something like New York is back or something like that because of 9-11. But then when we figured out it needed a month, oh, okay. I had to be well, I guess, I mean, there's still the chance that you could have gotten some questions wrong, even if you knew the overall category, just because you didn't know yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, the, the actual answer to the question. You just knew the month. Yeah. Like a well, like like for number six, I, we didn't actually say the the date of the month. So I'm not sure you even needed that, but we got all the other ones right anyway, so it didn't matter. But right, it was July, but then there was a date in July. I don't think we ever said that, so I don't know no, if Kevin didn't. even needed that. Yeah. Oh, you it's, know, what was yeah, Saturday in the nobody, park. I think it was the Fourth of July. That's when we were choosing our team names, we thought for yeah, sure. Yeah, so we just said when it was July. Insurrection, and nobody did. Well, I, I was voted down. That was my first thing. Yeah, because like if you didn't know what the sign said, but you knew based on the pattern that it was November, if you didn't have Mr. November, that, you know. Well, one, once I realized down. it needed it needed that month, and I realized because uh, Jackson was Mr. October, it had to be. Right, then it must be Mr. Yeah. Through, through the powers of deduction. Yes, that's figured exactly out. right. Yes. You know enough about baseball, baseball you could extrapolate the answer. Yes. 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 I, I distinctly remember that that moment when it became November and they were still playing baseball. It was bizarre. Yeah. COVID day three. I just noticed you put that in there, Rob. So you can have the you can have the countdown of how many days you've been with COVID. Well, the, the question is how many days do I worry about, you know, because they keep changing their mind on that every week. Do, on, how long on do how many I days stay you have to isolation? stay away from people? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah. Rob, you're but, always staying away from people, except for true. the day you got sick. So, that's well, yeah, true. like this this uh, holiday, my my brother usually hosts 
you know, uh, my side of the family for Christmas, like the, the Saturday after Christmas, and we hadn't had it the past couple of years due to COVID, we finally is all like, oh, hey, we're going to have it this year. And then, but didn't, neglected to mention something, and I heard it through the grapevine from one of my other relatives that, oh, yeah. his daughter had COVID, but she'll be fine by the time people come over. I'm like, well, well, time <laughs> out. I'm like, how, how long before? It? How long will yeah. she have yeah. had it before? Yeah. You know, so I'm just like, I'm, I'm staying home. I'm not going. Yeah, we, we know people who like uh, declined to go to a family party, and like one of them was my sister, and everybody at the party was got got COVID later, like uh, a few days later. Yeah, because I Every really wanted. I haven't person. seen my family in years, and I wanted to see them, but mm -hmm. I'm not going to risk, you know, because my. My youngest uh, still has only gotten one dose because she was, you know, too young to get it until they mm -hmm. finally. So she gets her second dose uh, on Monday. So I'll feel better once okay. she's gotten her second dose. Yeah, a week or two after that. You're absolutely but right. Yeah, I'm like, I'm not going to go if your kid had COVID and who knows how long, how many days she has been infected before the party. So I'm just like, I'm just going to stay home. Has anybody else had in their life um, what Wilma had, she hasn't played in a while, but her, you know, her mother said no one in the family can come over if you've been vaccinated. No, I've seen oh. people mm -hmm. post about oh, yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, because of the shedding. Oh, Rob, Rob, yep, yeah. exactly. some of the CDC's newest recommendations for you. Oh yeah, I love this. <laughs> I, love, I love the quarantine. You know, bag of rice. That's my favorite. <laughs> Licking people. Yeah, I like that Reading was If I have to not, pick not, one not to do, it's number three. Sorry. And yeah. then, and then the final back one here. With your scissors. I want to see that. Oh, <laughs> bark with I try to get a screenshot. <laughs> oh, we learned our lesson this time. Oh, yeah, that's I funny. Can't, I can't wait for the next Jurassic uh, movie since they're, you know, we have the new cast and they're bringing back the old cast. So that's going to be fun. Yeah. What? Wow. Yeah, did you did you hear that, Rob? No, the next no. Jurassic new World cast. movie is going to have, you know, Chris Pratt and... Uh, I'm blanking on her name now, Bryce Dallas Howard, but it's bringing back the the main three. We're gonna have um, Gold Goldblum, really? Yep, Goldblum, really? Yeah, Laura Dern. Yeah, yeah. Laura Dern and, oh my uh, God! Yeah, also also Han Solo is gonna be in. Here. Oh, cool! <laughs> and the X Men. Yeah. Oh, well, they so I'm excited them. for that because this I is like a big budget film, right? just for the never mind actor. special effects, just to pay the actors. Wow. Yeah, I, I, how much did, did Don't Look Up cost with all the main actors they had in there? Oh, oh my God. Oh my yeah. God. Yeah. 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 yeah, I watched that. I, we watched uh, that. Everybody was talking about it last week. And, and like, yeah, I got to I got to watch it before this week so that we can talk about it. Sean Carroll. Look up Sean Carroll's a, like it's a 20 minute discussion about it. It's really good. Oh, did he really oh, talk okay. about it? Yes. Oh. Yes. A uh, friend of mine just uh, got uh, found out that uh, she was playing trivia uh yesterday and uh, one of the people there uh had uh, tested got tested that day uh earlier for covid and he came there anyway without a mask uh and he he, his results came back to say positive what Great. a nice guy what a nice guy did he know he knew he got tested but he didn't know the results yet no oh. okay oh, okay Whew. that's stupid yeah, so, and uh, how do you play the odds? Kyle, I saw your talk coming up on cryogenics, and and uh, one of our members, who's a physics professor, uh, both he and I worked in cry. I worked in cryopreservation. He is a physicist. Worked on on uh, cryogenic, or but we noted the terminology. Because for the human preservation, it's cryonics, right? Yes, yes. So the description was maybe not using the terminology, uh, differentiating the different. I successfully, for a long part of my career, would freeze plants in liquid nitrogen, proof of purchase. I could bring them out, grow them back up and take them out to the greenhouse and plant them in the soil and they regrew. It does work, but Indeed. cryonics is a pure pseudoscience. Great way, yes. a great scheme to make money. 
it, it was in like the it... article it was in that article today in the in santa cruz about debunking all the pseudoscience they did they did it that was one of the topics but that they was... that is a good point uh, i'll address the typo in the chat okay so you guys ready oh okay we never saw the scores we never so, saw the scores, the spreadsheet. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. sorry. I didn't do that, but yeah, it wasn't that. It's not all that exciting. All right, Kevin. Here we go. Very boring at the moment. Oh, for anyone interested, I just posted the link for Brian Cox Breaks Down the Science Behind Don't Look Up. Oh, cool. I okay. liked it. I don't understand Thank the you. people that didn't like the movie. See it? Everybody see it, this? It, it, it's art. There's all different opinions of and parody and satire. And, yeah, some people absolutely. Some somebody in my says the worst film I've seen in 20 years. Like, wow. okay, so we have Great. some we have some news. So um, I was told because we love Richard Saunders and he's probably watching this right now. Hi, Richard. He had a bad Hi, reaction to his, his third shot, and so he wasn't feeling well. So he ended up having to spend time um today doing the thing he would have done yesterday and now he says he's got some other stuff he had to do so he's all behind things but he said could you please tell the quiz team uh quiz team crew today that's you guys that on the skeptic zone podcast they can wait i gotta do this on the skeptic zone it's me richard saunders just pretend i'm here on the skeptic zone this week on the skeptic zone this week uh, podcast they can play along with skeptical trivia from australia and we look at the history of power balance in the media at least that sound more like brian dunning <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a cross because that's easier <laughs> kind of a cross between the two adrian's also not feeling really well and the part of the reason why adrian is taking a break from this tonight is because we are doing skeptic camp on saturday and she's really well rested so Skeptic Camp is happening this weekend on Saturday. It's probably an all-day thing. It's going to be on Zoom. It's Monterey County Skeptics. I think we've done them since 2015. Here's the, the link to the event is in there. It's a Zoom event. And we also had this really nice article that appeared in the uh, Coast Weekly, which is our Monterey County kind of little uh, thing. And there's a nice picture to Richard, and he's talking to um bud miller who is um the husband of um she shows up sheree she shows up to the modern sheree. county skeptics so she's she's that's her husband in the plaid and it's a nice photo and uh, anyway it's a nice little article talking about our our event that we're having this weekend you don't really have to sign up uh, or anything like that please show up we are taking donations to cover some of our costs. We've got some really great speakers. Uh, Mono's gonna give a talk. Mono, you got like a second or two to go ahead and tell us what you're gonna talk about. Yep. Yeah. yeah, so my talk is about the age of the earth and Ooh. how calculations for the age of the earth have oscillated wildly over time, going from very long to very short to long again to short again and so on, depending on the various theories that were used at the various times. And there are some surprising uh, aspects of it. For example, some of the religious people behaved quite scientifically and some of the scientific people pushed a religious agenda. So there are some interesting aspects of that story and how evolution plays a big role in, those, uh, in, in the later part of the conflicts over the age of the earth. Cool. So that's going to be Looking everybody just to giving a talk is going to give about a 15 minute talk or so it's it's, it's a quick it's skeptic camp so it's very not quick. not what don't say that yeah everybody is 25 no we have a half hour slot well okay but then you get no q a um we also don't have me, don't, don't give me one day to, to trim it in half no oh, whatever there won't Kyle, be any questions. Kyle Trouble. Polich, Trouble. Good job. Kyle Polich is giving a talk on cryogenics and um what Right? Cryonics. <laughs> oh, cryo whatever. You know what I mean. I said your name right. You yeah, yeah. Know. I got the name right. right. One for two. <laughs> what do you want? Well, I'm not looking at it right now in front of me. Go ahead. So you're saying that the Earth isn't 6,000 years old? I'm not going to comment on that yeah. in my talk. No, I remind <laughs> you about cryonics. Uh, whether or not I can live for 6,000 years, though, myself, mm -hmm. by freezing. Mm -hmm. How much and I, I will also reveal the location of Walt Disney's head. 
Cool. In this time. Oh, this is right. and, and you guys frozen. gotta it's show frozen. for that. How much? How much will it cost me to save my head? Oh, I don't have dollar figures, but that would be a great slide to add. Thank you. In what currency? Definitely Bitcoin. It's worth it. But Bitcoin. You gotta, have, you gotta have the numbers, Kyle. That's what people want. They want to know yeah. how much it's going to cost them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We want to see that. And so, Kyle. Excellent is, point. Kyle is going to be giving a talk, and so is uh, Mr. COVID man over here. I hope. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, that hopefully, I don't have a relapse, and I can do it. Only two days to go, though. So. Um, yeah, actually, I just put the agenda for all the talks. Uh, that's the subjects without the names anyway in, in the chat if people are interested. Right. I also put a link. Um, and we've got all kinds of really interesting talks that are going to be Linda Rosa is giving a talk um, and uh, the, the Copenhagen Copenhagen people are going to be giving a talk, and Adrian's going to talk Klaus about Larson talk. and Steen Svonholm. Yeah, Richard Svonholm. Saunders. Craig Good, who I haven't heard give a talk yet, he's going to be doing something. Allison should be doing something. J.D. Mm. Sword is going to talk about the satanic panic. So we got a, a huge mm. range of different talks. So please come to Skeptic Camp and share it on your Facebook or wherever. Thank you guys for um, the Triangle Skeptics and the Oregon Skeptics for sharing it on their meetups. Mm. I appreciate that. Susan, what is attachment therapy? I didn't look it up. And I, We're I was gonna going to find out. Oh, never heard it's of that. Science. Well, you'll. There's a Wikipedia I, I page, figured I think, that. but it needs yeah. some help. So uh, that's happening, Monterey County Skeptics. Kyle, what's going on in Data Skeptic? Data Skeptic this week is a little bit more technical show. We talk about a, uh, a protocol, I guess you'd call it, called Open Telemetry. It's an open source thing that allows most of the applications you use on a daily basis to use a standard format so developers can uh, trace what problems are and things like that. So we talked about how Bunch of people got together in a consortium and defined the open telemetry format on Data Skeptic this week. Isn't that great? Oh, oh and you know what? I should probably start mentioning, Janine. When you get a chance, you're you know, and you're getting close to doing one of your skeptic camps, not skeptic camps, uh, you know, meetups. You might want to you know mention it because and give us a link because maybe other people like to join the or, uh, Oregonians for rationality, right? Oregonians for science. And science and reason. reason. Okay. Uh, and uh, they have a meetup that they do over Zoom. It's kind of fun. And uh, the other thing I was going to mention, I have a new game. I just got it. You guys talked to me into getting Azul. I think it was Ben. Talked to me and getting Azul. I love Azul. So Caspian got me this uh, expansion set. And I got the, and then I had to go get the game because we didn't realize. <laughs> <laughs> but I got him. I got this today. And I'm dying to play it. So maybe Karen's going to have to come over and play it with me because I've got nobody else except my cats. Maybe Karen. Maybe Karen. Well, I played different. it before, but you kept winning. I didn't well, like I love it. the game. It's great. <laughs> so, so I want to play this one. I'm dying to play it. And um, I'm going to be doing a talk for the Commonwealth Club on Monday at 2:30. The link will they'll put it up on the video on the on the YouTube afterwards. But it's on Operation Onion Ring. I've got it all all rehearsed and everything. And that's a big deal as far as the the format is like. The Commonwealth Club is a is a is a speaking place. No, I was outside a little while ago. It's not as uh, it's not like a skeptic. I'm not going to be speaking to a, a group of skeptics necessarily. These are usually people who are, you know, very involved in politics and art, and, you know, very cultured people. So it's going to be really hard. <laughs> I am definitely not going to fit in. And uh, Caspian, we're going to lose Caspian. Sorry, Caspian. Don't tell them where I'm going, please, because this is being recorded. Oh, he's going away for far, and we might not be able to see him for a while. Oh, two visits, and because we're recording here. Let me hit the pause back a minute. And is that it? Are we done? And that section that was cut out for all you YouTube users was brilliant. Just brilliant. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I, I'm still laughing. I'm still amazed at oh, how the content. I'm sensing an content Emmy. that was lost. <laughs> oh so man. So funny. Okay. So now all we conspiracy theorists are just going to go wild. You know that. Susan. Oh God, these people. <laughs> yeah, we're and, busy talking about our big pads from Big Pharma. That's it. Well, and okay, uh, Rob, that, that and Robert, the lizard people. It's that was Trump's health. <laughs> I heard last I heard. Still alive? Is anyone checking? That's my check. Yeah. And Robert Palmer, it looks like we might be gearing at the end of the big discussion on the coin uh, conflict of interest. 
They oh, just yeah. checked in saying that we'll see. We're no that admin is just checked in saying, what are you guys all complaining about? Kind of thing. Okay. Mm. Mm. That looks good. All right, here we go. Where's Kevin? Up here. Up Down here. there, wherever you guys are on your Up screen. Here. I'm not sure. Okay. Um the photo behind me is taken <clears throat> the shores of Rhode Island. Oh this yay! We're gonna state of Rhode Island is the theme. Questions about the state of Rhode Island. About their lighthouses? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, poor Lou. Question number one. Wait, hold it. Muting everybody. Rhode Island yourself. is the smallest state in area. How many cities and towns does it have? It's multiple choice. Question number two. It's the smallest in the area, but not the smallest in population. There are a few states with less people besides Alaska. Name a state that has less people than Rhode Island. In area, how many Rhode Islands could you fit in Alaska? Plus or minus 100. What is the official drink of Rhode Island? I'll give you multiple choice. Chocolate milk, coffee milk, plain milk, or strawberry milk? Mint julep. <laughs> there are two celebrities who live in Westerly, Rhode Island, very expensive community, right? Not too far from where that picture is taken. One is a famous singer and the other a late night talk show host. Make a guess for both and score a point if you get either one. The TV show Family Guy is based in what fictional Rhode Island city? What do they call hot dogs in Rhode Island? They don't call them hot dogs. What do they call them? There's a few answers. So I'll, when you guess, if you get one of them, you get a point. I've asked this question before. The Tennis Hall of Fame is located in what Rhode Island city? Next one is a multiple choice. What is the Rhode Island state bird? The last one is a kind of a bizarre one. There's a building called the Blank Building because it visually looks like a building from a TV series in the 50s. Known through the years as the Fleet Tower Bank, the Bank of America Building, and 111 Westminster. Locally, it's referred to as the Blank Building because of its visual similarity to a building in what TV series from the 1950s. And that's it. Well, these no bonuses great. for this one. I'm really looking on number forward. on towns. That's a very loose definition. Uh, do you have a more precise definition of that? Cities and towns. There's only a certain number of them in Rhode Island. It's in one of those falls in one of those groups. Yeah, the problem is population. What are you calling a town? Well, does it have a Wikipedia page? Oh, or are you just meaning like separately? And they they have areas. separate like municipal municipalities. Yeah, they they have, call. They have, they're How many municipalities are in Rhode Island? Yeah, it's either it's a city no or a number. town. Okay. Very good, Kevin. Can you do you want to send us to our rooms? I don't know how to do that. <laughs> yeah, what, go to breakout rooms. Breakout rooms. This is all open this all pandemic rooms. Has yep. all been about you guys becoming better at um Zoom. Zoom. Well, originally, good. when you first started doing Susan, you were doing all the work and I said, You want to let somebody help you with the categories. She said, Oh no, it wouldn't be fun. But then we when you figured out 
you could play, <laughs> it made it more fun. And, and Rob and I jumped right on it. You know? Yeah, I, I'm enjoying cool. myself. It's, but I'm it's missing some of the way. other team. I, I didn't get to talk to hardly anybody else. Well, this looks fun. What do you guys think? Man, today I'm going to score zero in all the categories. Oh, Is come okay? on, Mono. You have us, Mono. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> total never, dead weight, but you guys are doing great. I'm, I'm glad. You never know. <laughs> okay, so I spelled Rhode Island right, which was really exciting to me. That is like a highlight for me that I spell something right. I know that sounds silly, but that, to me that was good. Okay, we small mistake. How many cities and towns does it have? I don't know the answer. I've never been to Rhode Island either. So, Mono, your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, Anybody? I would say 41 to 60. Just a guess. You need I'm to correct the grammar. It's I think fewer, that's too high. Than oh, really? I would go a few oh, less higher. than 20. Really? Um, yeah. Or I was going to say 21 to 40. I, th I think it's way, it's like teeny tiny. Has anybody been to Rhode Island? I've been there. I've been, yeah, I've been there once to visit Brown University. See, Mono, you are the expert. But that's uh, so but I only we've know. We've driven, like we've I, driven. I only know the town of Providence. So there's one. Yeah. Okay. How big is that? <laughs> oh, there's also Newport. I know there's two. Okay, there's two. But I would think it would be very small because we've driven like through New Hampshire entirely, and it's like an hour, an hour and a half to drive through that state from the Canadian border. <laughs> Okay, so number question two. Oh, Do we... does Rhode Island border Canada? No, it is close. Oh, okay. But it's much tinier. Maybe it's but, here, so, so what are we going with? Are we going with fewer than 20? Or 21 to 40? 21 yeah. to 40 is my vote. Let's do yeah. that. I think just because it feels safer. <laughs> my vote is 41 to 60, but then that's just a guess. The states of their team. I think number two is Wyoming. Oh, yeah, Wyoming, I bet you're right. Montana. Montana. Wyoming. It says there's more than one. So yeah. Montana and Wyoming. Yeah. By either Alaska's one. one. So I would be. I he think gave Montana. us that one. He's other than Alaska, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. Besides Alaska. Yeah. Okay. So Wait, Montana, Wyoming. Wyoming. Mm -hmm. Okay. How many Rhode Islands can fit in Alaska? <laughs> Plus or minus 100, which gives you a clue how many there probably could fit. Mm. I would say 250. 250? Mm -hmm. I was going to go a lot higher than that. Yeah, well, how high were you going to go? I was, was going to go 400. So here's a reference point. If you overlaid Alaska on the continental US, it fills up like mo like a big chunk of it. So probably 50. a thousand or more? I was, I was going to go like 500 to a thousand. It's 800? Small. That's more than a thousand? I'm just facilitating this. I don't have. Why don't we do 850? 850 sounds good to me. Okay. That gives us. Can we go? Can we do 900 and get, and that'll capture a thousand for us? Sure. How about 901? <laughs> <laughs> but then that'll rule out 800. Oh, that's yeah, true. let's go 900. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So a thousand, that would mean that. <sighs> You have like 100 rural islands by 100 rural islands. That seems too big. That could be. No, not 100 by 100 would give you 10,000. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. yes. Thank you. 50 <laughs> by 50. Anyway, what is I the thought state? I would have. I, 30 by 30. What's what the initial state, state drink? drink? What's with all the milk? <laughs> I want to go with yeah. strawberry milk. Well, just as a point, I will, when doing the trivia for North Carolina, I discovered that a lot of states have milk as their drink. I was, I was going to say milk. Really? Is that because of the dairy know. business? Well, it's, it's plain milk or coffee yeah. milk, chocolate milk, or strawberry milk. That's the options he's given us. So it's a variation of milk. Romero, is it because milk is a dairy product and they're just trying to promote it? I'm guessing because that's the drink for North Carolina milk. Milk. I know that. Yeah. I never knew that. I, I would go with just plain milk. I think I he know. threw those other ones in there to throw us off, but I don't know. But milk. Chocolate milk. Chocolate milk, 
strawberry milk and coffee milk are still milk. True. I mean, so if they're promoting dairy, do they need the quality? Maybe they just don't care. Just like let it. Would be a milk. state would a state choose strawberry milk as its category if it doesn't grow strawberries? There are no strawberry growth growers in. Good point. In Rhode Island, uh, chocolate. Or There's coffee? no chocolate. Coffee. Coffee. No coffee and chocolate need a warm climate. No, they don't. They're not grown there. None they might them. do it just to be different. If Number North five, Carolina is plain milk. Yeah. Number five, I think, is Jimmy Fallon. And the reason I think that is, I think I remember over the pandemic, he did a little show in his house with his kids. And I think it was like a Cape Cod in Rhode Island. <laughs> 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 Yeah, he lives in like this little is... Cape Cod house with shingles oh, and Cod, stuff on yeah. the side. And yeah. also the other people, I think. Well, uh, that could be New York. <laughs> uh, no, Jimmy I think he was... there. Sure. Stephen Colbert is, is in near the New York. And <laughs> Seth Meyers is also in New York. So I think uh, you're probably right. He's just uh, Jimmy Kimmel, uh, Jimmy Fallon and mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. James Gordon. I don't think he would be. In... No, James Gordon is on the West Coast. James Corden. Oh, he's on the West Coast. Yes. Is this and the official West sign for West Coast? Yeah, well, I hold on. The left coast. So I think the West <laughs> is that way from where we are. So, so I, like, North is over with here. I would agree with Faith. I mean, way, way, North. way to the left. <laughs> Could the singer be Billy Joel? Since he likes Californication. <laughs> okay. I, I don't Fallon. know. Do with the I, Fallon guy. He sounds like a Jimmy I think it is, I think it's Jimmy Fallon. Think think it's Jimmy, Jimmy Fallon. Fallon. You want to get us to try? You want to guess here? Jimmy Fallon and Billy Joel, and whichever one hits, we get sure. it. Sure, good plan. Yeah, because you yeah. yeah. haven't had the Billy Billy Joel stuff going on in his background. Does anybody watch Family Guy? Oh yeah, this is yes, Cohog. Cohog, yeah. Cohog, yeah. Oh, I'm so glad you're on our team. I have no idea. <laughs> uh, what are they called? Hot dogs. Um. I don't know. Wieners? No. Bangers? Horse? <laughs> do, you, do you know what Quahog? I know what Quahog's uh, animal is. It's a clam. But I don't know what their hot dogs are called. Wieners? Uh, okay, Tennis Hall of Fame located in what Rhode Island city? This is Mono's uh, know. Newport? I thought Newport. What about Natick? Because <laughs> that's one of the towns they talk about. <laughs> and Family Guy is Natick. There's a Twinkie family factory in Natick. There's tennis. No. Wait, what, what did you say, Mono? We, what question are we discussing now? All Eight. of them. The Eight. Tennis Hall of Fame. Eight. Tennis I, Hall of Fame. I, I, I was guessing Newport. Okay. That's fine. I think that's a good guess. Okay, what's the state bird? Chickadee, chicken, seagull, sparrow, or woodpecker? Sparrow. Sparrow? Okay. That's just a guess. I'm just. I would have them there. Chickadee. I would say chickadee because it's so small and Rhode Island is so small. <laughs> but what if it's woodpecker because the other two have the same letter that they start with? I don't know. Okay, so whatever you decide is fine. Go with Sparrow because that's what I came up with okay. first. Oh, okay. Sparrow. I, I and, yeah, I'm sure they have sparrows there. And again, please don't like. It's all in events. Uh, that was just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, mean, I would go with yes. Chickadee because it, it's small. Uh, that's what I was, my initial guess was Chickadee. For sparrows are small too. Should we take a vote? Small with Chickadee. Okay. Chickadee is one of those. Take small. a vote. Take a vote. Who okay. votes sparrow? Who votes chickadee? Is that the two? Okay. Chickadee or sparrow? Chickadee. Chickadee. I like chickadee. I like the idea of it being small. Sparrow? I'll vote sparrow. I don't know. Kyle. Kyle, woodpecker. come on. No pressure, woodpecker. Kyle. Kyle, why are you going woodpecker? Because of my observation. Romero's the only one that didn't vote. I'm not, I mean, I have no idea. It'll be like flipping a coin. I well, don't know. You're so certain about Chicago. <laughs> you know, all of Chicago Okay, so one of those. Uh, no, number 10, known over the years is the Fleet Bank Tower. What could this be? 
Twilight Zone. Could it? So, but it, it looked like another building. building. No, he wants to know because of it's the TV series. In what TV series from the 1950s? That's what he's asking. But, but, Twilight yeah, Zone. Yeah, do they call it's it the building. Twilight Zone building? That's the, it's a nickname for the building is after the or Twilight building. But was it oh, a oh, oh, hold on? What if it's the Back to the Future building? But that wasn't in the 1950s. Yes, it was. It was the clock no, tower no, no, and back no, a TV series. That wasn't from the 1960s. We it's need a TV, TV series from the oh, 1950s. Oh, shit, TV series, TV, TV series from the 1950s, Twilight Zone. Leave it to Beaver. Wait, wait a minute, the Twilight Zone. I love Lucy. Uh, was an anthology. It didn't have a single location with the building. Right, I agree. What what Twilight Zone? Yeah, no, uh, it be Twilight Zone. It could okay. be okay. What was in the fifties? Uh, the Munsters. That was was that fifties or sixties? We had that category before. The Monsters. That was the sixties. Sixties. Okay, how about uh, last Adam's Family? Adam's family. Uh, remember, Monsters and Adam's Family came out like weeks apart. Six. That's right. We had that category. We know that. Mm -hmm. We know oh, that. Huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. And what else is a older? Big building. It has to be a big building, right? Yeah, like a big. tower. It has to be some kind of tower-like building. What about Get Smart? Oh, oh get yeah. Smart. No, that was it, the seventies. That was the sixties. Okay. Sixties. These are seventies. Yeah. Okay. But that was the, that's a good guess, though. Okay. Could Lucy have was on in the. Lucy was on in the fifties. What was playing mm -hmm. around that time? Uh, Black and white. Mm -hmm. Lassie. Hold on, hold on. What if it was um? Oh shoot, Mayberry. Oh, oh, okay. oh Mayberry. man, Daily Planet. Andy That's Griffith. Right Andy Griffith. Andy Griffith. Andy Griffith. They might call it the Mayberry Bill. No, Mayberry Building. Because but that is a small a town. Building. I don't think it's a big building. It's a no, building no. in what TV series? It's a building. There was an iconic building in the 1950s, uh, black and white in TV series. There's an iconic it's building. Visually what similar. It it's not the same building. It's just visually similar. Yeah, but there is an iconic building in a 1950s. Was Superman a 50s series? Superman was a 50s mm -hmm. series. Superman, the TV series? I was think it the was. 50s? Was there an iconic building in the Superman well, series? I the newspaper where he worked. What about King Kong? No. Not a TV you know what? I, if we don't get anything else, I think Superman's probably a good idea. Because I can see them calling it the Superman Tower. I think maybe Laurie got it. The Mayberry building. No, because there is no Mayberry, Mayberry. No, it, from from Andy Griffith. Yeah. yeah, there is no there's no big building in Andy Griffith. Uh, well, it could look like the jail. Well, it may not be that it was it may not be that it was the building was the same size. It was just visually similar, so it could have similar architecture. And just because it's a small town doesn't necessarily mean in the middle of downtown that they would have some buildings, it's the, columns, it's the style. It's the style, the style. Of like that. Because we call we call houses that were built in the '60s Brady Bunch houses or the '70s, like that Brady Bunch look, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so it's like kind of like that. It's like you the, think it might be Mayberry. Well, How or it would be Jetsons. Was it a '50s show? Ooh, the Jetsons. The Jetsons. That was, a... Jetsons was later, and it was a cartoon. I wasn't here in the '50s. What so about like Gunsmoke or? Um, I'm that, trying to go back. Could it be the Manhattan building? Like, because it looks like a building from New York. What would be the Manhattan building? What TV show would it have been from? Any kind of, um, it was generic. They just used the style of the building. Mm. Well, he wants to know the name of the TV show. No, I, he wants the name of the building. What series? Oh, no, just yeah, the building, right. not the TV show. Yeah. To, well, no, it's the, the TV show would because give a of hint. its visual similarity to a building in what TV series from the 1950s doesn't have a question mark. But so, like, if it was Believe It to Beaver, they may have called it the Beaver Building. Building. Exactly. What, what mm -hmm. shows have we come up with? Do we have other questions we should get to? Um. What number else we seven, missing? Number seven. What they call hot, hot dogs. dogs. 
Oh, what about rather than the building? <laughs> what about Coney's? That's the only thing I can Oh, no, that's Coney Allen. Yeah. I know. It's the best you? guess we've got. Hey, you know, Mona was talking about Provincetown and what was the other one? Roanoke? No. What was it? Newport. 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 Could there be a Newport dog or something named like after the city, like a new dog? A new dog for your Newport. <laughs> Mm -mm. Your no, a provi a provi it's, dog it's probably more like a like a um like a um like a banger or a, a so there's, there's a term it's just kind of oh, yeah. or something like that because they made what stuff about wiener because only have that wiener, wiener. No, it's Oscar maybe. Meyer oh. that that is a possibility because it's going to lost on this call it banger right? so just I, yeah, I think Rhode Island, Island would be so difficult um, what if they call them Nathan's? Like, because there's Nathan's hot dogs. That's possible. They, they could, they they, maybe the hot dogs are made there and they and they just call them a Nathan. Give me a Nathan, even if it's not oh, a Nathan. Nathan, dog. New York? That's, New York. Oh, I don't know. Nathan's are they New York? York? Okay. Hmm. I don't know. We should at least know this 1950s TV show. My gosh, come on, you guys. Could it, it be the Avengers? Was the Avengers the 50s? Isn't that later? Avengers is a British show. Yeah. It's yeah. British. Was there a spy film or a spy TV show in the 50s? Well, I have a question. Like, is this a show that was made in the 50s or like the show is modern, but is set in the 50s? No, from it's the, from the 50s. From, from the 50s. Yeah. So we have are the, Superman, are the Masters? Yeah, Batman. Gotham? Gotham building? Let's go with Gotham that. Tower? Mm. Gotham? No. no. Maybe what about Metropolis building about Gotham for Superman? Tower. What if they called it the Metropolis building? Well, it would more likely be the Daily Planet building. Maybe we should go with the Superman building. like Daily we, want Planet. The we want the name of the TV show, though. No, you want the name of the building. No, oh, the the building. That's what they show. call the building. They could call it the Superman building. No, is he, he specifically want locally, it's com commonly referred to as the blank building because of its visual similarity to a television show from the 1950s. He wants the name of what they call the building. Oh, could it be? Yeah. No, no. Superman building makes sense. Or you call it the Daily Planet building. How about King Kong? No, that wasn't a TV series, huh? Yeah. I mean, if Superman was a 50 show, it could be the. I don't know. I want to say Mayberry. I can't picture a Mayberry building be anything that even could remotely resemble a tower. I can't visualize it. It wasn't anything. It was just that little town. Are you, are you, are you, you're saying that the, that the state of Rhode Island is big enough to have a tower building? Well, it might be four four. Because the state of Rhode Island to me seems like it is full of small town, small town sized buildings. That's a good Mary, point. North Carolina is small town. Everything. We have a tower here in and we're small. No, we are well, not. It. Small. Mono, you've been there. Is there towers in in? I in mean, Rhode downtown Island? Providence. Downtown Providence is like a a big Rhode city. city. Yeah. I mean, it's a reasonably sized city. So you're telling me that downtown Providence, Rhode Island is probably bigger than our downtown. Probably the same. Maybe. But you just called, I like our, the idea you just the called our city small. Or the Daily Planet. Other cities here. Wait, what city are you referring to? Our city? Um, to him, I'm talking about my, the capital of North Carolina. Because he was saying the city we live in. The downtown here is small. OK. <laughs> You can see the skyscrapers near from near our house. You proved that to me a few months ago. I, maybe it's just the Superman building. Go with that. Okay. I'm fine with that. What else are we missing? Seems like something that they would... Hot dogs. Hot dogs. What are they called? Don't hot... we have something else we can answer? No bonuses. No. no. But do we get everything else, you guys? I think so. Yes, that's the only thing is we have to come up with a what lot they of drinks. Hot this dogs. is really hard, Kevin. I, I want to do you want to vote on the on the milk for number four? I, I think we came to an agreement playing milk. We did. Two teams are done. Yeah. Oh, we got the other teams are done. Let's go Two with road dog. Let's go with road dog. Okay. What did they pick for dog. the milk one? 
Milk. I don't know. I didn't look at the answers. Who's keeping the answers? In our group? I will. Oh, in our team. Who's keeping them in our team? Not me. Not me. We, we know that, Kevin. <laughs> Is there somebody in this team? I, don't, I, I didn't get them all. I thought um, Kyle was keeping. I have uh, for number uh, one, 21 to 40. Number two, Wyoming. Go ahead. Number Kate. three, yeah. 900. Four, Plain Milk. Number five, Jimmy Fallon and Billy Joel. Number six, Cohog. Number seven, Road Dog. Eight, Newport. Nine, Superman. And ten, what did we come up with? Superman. Superman. So, Superman. so number nine, what, what did we come bird, up with? State bird, chickadee. What did we vote on the state bird? We chickadee got or sparrow? Which one? I think chickadee number won. Nine. Yeah, chickadee won. Three vote chickadee. Two. Okay, let's go with chickadee. It's gonna be sparrow, you guys. It's gonna <laughs> well, be woodpecker. I know, I know. It's gonna be, it's gonna be woodpecker. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be chicken. Yeah, chicken. I know. Good all right. job, y'all. Good job, y'all. Maybe it is chicken. Oh, that was hard. Hard. You know, right. not. so I don't know what's gonna happen the next time. Yeah, it it doesn't matter what Biden said or <laughs> when. It, uh, they're not gonna. They weren't gonna convince anybody. Mm. Hi everybody, where you been? Yeah, man, that was hard. <laughs> we we thought uh, we, we something happened. It was we wondering if it was really guessing. Motto goes, I'm not going to know anything in this category whatsoever, and we're like, and I said, okay, who's been to Rhode Island? Mono's the only. Mono. One. Was <laughs> <laughs> I go, Mono. It's all. <laughs> He's the only one that's been there. So. Well, I, I was yeah, there. I, I was, was there going for a college visit with my daughter. Counts as oh, really. a little long ago. Yeah. I drove through it. Well, I've driven through, I've it, driven through it three or four times, yeah. and I, we stayed there twice. And I didn't know any of these from that trip. Where's didn't help. Yeah. Didn't you count the cities and towns, Rob? No. <laughs> one, two. One, I was actually trying to picture the map because it was in the days before GPS. We actually had a physical map, so uh -huh. I could have remembered oh, a little yeah. but No, I didn't remember. I did remember it was very small. It's like, this is a state? How does this? They have two senators. I don't understand. Not fair. How many, so, so this there? editor is, has been examining the David pa uh, Paul, Paul Levy's uh, where we're being recorded. That's all right. And huh? he says he's not seeing anything wrong. Who, who did what? Senator we what? have an editor that we have a whole blown out drama fest oh. on, on Wikipedia right now. I was up till 3.30 in the morning last night. So. Yeah, I was up till... You too, till yeah. So anyway, so the they... There, anyway, so people are giving all these examples of things they think that we've done wrong. And there's a whole bunch of them, I don't know, 10 or 15. And so uh, admin has just gone through each one of them, each one of these looking for these bad edits. His answer is, uh, th there's no bad edits here. I mean, there's a little bit here and there of some whatever, but no, there's nothing. He says, I'm used to seeing real you know, bad, you know, point of um, POV. What is that point of view? Yeah. Pushing, he UI. says, where it's really bad or biased. He says, I'm not seeing that. So so what editor is this? This, this is, is the person? admin that I talked to, Jonathan. Oh, really? Okay. He spent hours. Are you guys all, all back yet? Yeah, we're all back. I think we are. What do you guys? I, I think, hours looking at this. I think question back. five might have been too hard. So no. I'm going to... No, no, don't give us a hit. No, no, no. Well, what I was thinking is, no, if I get all, no, no. listen, listen, here's what I'm thinking. If I get everybody's answer and nobody gets it right, yeah. then I'll give another hint. No, no. Okay. No, okay. okay. All right. All right. That's you, fine. You've given us, we've had two categories that were very. Okay. Bad. So yeah. a 10 killer is a very valid, very valid thing. A what? Right. A 10, 10 killer. killer. Some, sometimes we just miss one. Yeah, that's yeah. right. When we learn better. Okay, go ahead. You ready for answers? Yes. Yeah. Oh. For the number one, they have 39. So it's in that range. Yes. Nice. Yahoo. 39. 
Is that 39. Oh, so we did put four. that. <laughs> we we didn't listen to me. Yay. We were, listening. we were leaning towards 21. <laughs> So well, we, that would have been fine. No, no, 20, under 20, we were looking at the, the only number we were sure it wasn't was 20 because none of those categories would match 20. <laughs> it's less than 20 or 21 to 40. So there's no 20. So it wasn't 20. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Ah, I should have said 21 or less. I didn't catch uh, that. Yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> no, you should have said 21 or fewer. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah, I always messed that up. Yeah, I, I'll I'm be trying to find the that. chat button. I can't seem to find it. Are you going to tell me that? <laughs> oh, there it is. There it, it all is. All over the place. Okay. The second answer is either Delaware, South Dakota, North Dakota, Vermont, or Wyoming. Yes. Wow. Boy, that's a lot. Wow. That's a oh, lot. good thing we changed it. Yeah. I'm mm -hmm. really surprised. Providence is a pretty big city. I heard somebody talking about it. Yeah. That's Number right. three, I, I know somebody got it right. I know two teams over, overestimated. Really? The answer is 425. Uh, yes. Oh, yes. I said 500. Oh, well. Close. We're not Close, 425 to 525 is correct. Oh, wow. What was the answer? 414. Uh, we're, we're 425. Close, James. Close, James. That was, that was good for the back of the envelope for guessing. The yeah. answer is coffee milk. Oh, oh no. we weren't even when close. you go to the hot dog oh, joints, no. they don't call them hot dog joints. We call them hot dog joints in order in Massachusetts. Wait, 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 jumping to seven? Five. How yeah. are you doing seven? Oh, okay. Number five. Four. Number four, four coffee is milk. coffee milk. Okay. Number five. What did you guys guess? For no, singers? what is the what are the answers? Alan and Billy Joel. Don't no you. and no. <laughs> no and no. No and no. Thanks, Faith. Conan O'Brien and Lady yes. Gaga. What? Yes. Conan O'Brien yes. and Taylor yes. Swift. Conan yeah, O'Brien is in Lady Gaga lives in San Francisco. Well, she might have several places. I don't know. I'm sure. I think she's got money. I think she's got several places. A little bit. Yeah. She has huge parties in the Rhode Island. For all her famous friends. Taylor Swift. Conan O'Brien. Yep. Not liking this category. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah. Go hard. Right. Yeah, right. right. yeah. right. The next one is going to make you guys laugh. Right. What they dogs? call the hot dogs. You go to the hot dog joint. Oh. They don't call them hot dog joints. Massachusetts people do. Yeah. But you go to the hot dog joint. They call them like a wiener place or something. And you get a coffee milk and a couple of dogs all the way. But they call them soggies, wieners, gaggers. Destroyers and belly busters. Oh my God! No Franks. Well, we nope. went, yeah, we. You get, we went with get either like wieners, wieners or Franks, and we all the way. Okay. What did we wieners say, you guys? Way. Oh, we said we didn't What's say number that. six. We, we said road dog. Co oh, We said road dog. Road dog. <laughs> what was number That's six? That's a good answer. Co hog. Co -hog. Co -hog. Okay. With a Q. Yep, quo hog. Even call them wieners. I spelled it's it right. A, it's like a clam. A quahog is like a clam. Yeah. yeah. Newport, Rhode Island is the home. No. Uh, Newport. Oh. Did we get that right? Yeah, we got that. Yeah, we did. Yay! Two, two people Newport. on the same team should have got the next one on the very same team. Oh. The Rhode Island Red Chicken. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. chicken. Oh. Oh. We were on the yeah. same team. Oh, we man. Did. We should have known that. We got one right. What if it's, isn't a chick chicken D? Does that count? A chickadee? Chicken D. No, a chicken D. No, it's not a chicken D. No, it's the breed. And the answer, I heard people get this one. The hand yeah. the answer for the last one is Superman. Yeah. 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 Jamie. Is that what we no. Way to go, Paula. Well, we didn't get 10. <laughs> but Did we, we hopefully we didn't guys? get the least amount. But, you know, you were close to 10, but you know. Yeah, oh, we got we it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we didn't get zero. zero. Oh, we went but, back and hey, forth on that. Kevin, so can they call yeah. it the, the can they call it the the uh Daily Planet building or no? No, nope, no because the, the question Planet. was in what TV series from the 50s? In what TV series? And the word had no, to the answer in both was the places. Right movie. I mean, what building? No, yeah. look at yes. both the question places. is what, what is the building TV called? Series. The key is no, the, the question is the what the building's building. called, and it is called the Superman building. But Google. it also yeah. says in what TV series. Yeah, at, at the right. It, yeah. Both the, the answers thing. is Superman building. Yeah. We Superman. got it. That's all I care about. We yeah. have one point for that. All right. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh okay. my God, you guys. Kevin, let's find out what you guys are like. That was a tough one. <laughs> Better word. Bye, guys. There is the Superman building Bye. in downtown Providence. You want to see the score? Bye, Bye, guys. See you later. See you next Wednesday. See ya. That's yeah. what it looks like. Yeah. And maybe Saturday. Oh, yeah. I can see the similarity oh, to the Daily like Planet. Yeah. yeah. And it also looks like the Ghostbusters building. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. On the side there. Ghostbusters yeah. building. Oh. Where, where you know where the Ghostbusters station really was? Where the station was? Where the station was. Where oh, 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 oh. That's the Manhattan yeah. building where the final where battle happened. Yeah. Stay puffed, yeah, marshmallow yeah. man. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, the, the the key the key master and the and the yeah. yeah I think I want to watch that. Key, key, Bernie Weaver's apartment. I haven't yeah. seen it so long. Okay, so let's go over to the um, scory score source. Here we go. So let's oh, start with beef cubed plus J. That's not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Four. And you are in the lead. Yay! For a very short <laughs> Stop time. that count. Stop that count. Okay. Joker Dakovnik. Five. Oh, all right. That's and we just passed good. him up. Okay. So is Billy Joel still alive? Does anybody know if Billy Joel's still alive? Yes. Miraculously, eight. Oh, wow. wow. Damn. You schooled everybody. Aren't you guys? All right. 2022 feels like 2022. Six. And we have a winner so far. Look at that. Woo! That's, that's really good. Number eight, we literally knew two towns in Rhode Island. And we're like, is it Providence or Newport? And we basically did a coin toss. Wow. <laughs> that's pretty good, because the maximum score you could possibly have right now is 30, and they're at 28. So that's really, really good. Um, that's something. I'm glad, <laughs> I didn't talk, I'm glad I didn't talk Jeff out of fucking me out of 500. <laughs> yeah, I tried to right. talk him out of talking me out of it. I'm yeah, upset I upset about that chicken out. thing because we should have known about the Rhode Island red. That's just yeah. Yeah. now. That's Come why on. I didn't say yeah, Rhode Island no, red. I said chicken. chicken. Someone brought that. Yeah, up. that was I good. Okay, Kevin. Is it Foghorn Leghorn or Rhode Island red? I don't no. know. No, 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 no he's no, from he's from white. Oh boy, oh boy, he's from down south somewhere. I reckon. Yeah, he's from. His friend from college was Rhode Island Red. Oh. Oh. Hanging out together. Maybe there's there a you know. chicken. Rhode Island Red too. comes to visit Foghorn Leghorn and drives him crazy. Oh, oh that's we right. should be that's we should be right. talking. Bob, Bob and Janine are the experts on the chicken questions. Just and they were on the same team. Got it. That's funny. I didn't realize on the same team. That's right. <laughs> we weren't sure, but we guessed. <laughs> oh, okay. they said the words Rhode Island Red, and I was like, oh, they got it. I was watching them when they were talking about it. And I also watched the other people say Superman. It's got to be, but then they almost talked themselves out of Superman. We, we almost did. We almost went with some. Superman was the only TV oh, show I Lori did. Wanted, it that had out. outdoor scenes. If Lori you wanted the, the beginning Mayberry. of it, Mayberry. He jumps over the building. Yeah, you know, he, yeah, the Mayberry. Right. Out of the, oh. out of the theme. They didn't have I wanted Mayberry too. But they didn't have higher big than, buildings. Well, they thought it was something. designed and it kind of looked like a big, the, one of the jails or something in the Mayberry town or. And I Faster than a speeding Ooh. bullet, more powerful than a local, able to leap tall buildings, buildings and they show a it. Single bound. And they single bound and they show the building. Well, well, except they don't show him leaping it because that was from the original. No, they comics. just show the building and it's yeah, like in the original comics. He could not fly, he only actually did leap tall buildings. Leap. Yeah. Go ahead, Kevin. Okay, round so four. Far, so good. Round four. It's kind of it's different. We haven't done this one yet. Oh, we haven't done music. Uh oh. This uh, this is not music, but it's it's comedy. Oh, I like that. Help me out, Kevin. I, I need to I need to win this round. Okay, what I'm gonna do is give you two jokes from a comedian. Oh. And then at the end, there is a list of all the comedians. You just have to pick which one fits the joke. So name it's name the comedian. This is name great. the comedian. Yep, I'm like I comedy lyrics. I'll oh, give you two jokes this. by the same comedian. You name field. the comedian. It may be hard, so I'll give the answers at the bottom with a few extras, and nobody has used more than once. Oh, wow. thank you well, for well, telling well. us that. Okay. It's all in the rules right there. Number one, two jokes by the same person. Here it comes. Judge, Judge. Paste these in. Mute us. All right, unmute yourself, Kevin. Okay. Do I have to read the jokes or not? Someone give me a thumbs up if they want me to. Or... I think you should because if anyone's watching this later, okay. you know, it's they're not going to yeah, see Yeah, you should read them. Okay. A man can sleep around 
no questions asked. But if a woman makes 19 or 20 mistakes, she's a tramp. Joke number two of question one, if God wanted us to bend over, he'd put diamonds on the floor. I'm going to give a list of comedians at the end. Okay. So you'll be able to pick from them. So we're matching. Yes. Number two. I have to go. I, I'm... When you're born into this world, you're given a ticket to the freak Bye. show. Oh, if you're born in America, you get a front row seat. Night, Vincent. Religion has actually convinced people there's an invisible man in the sky who watches everything you do every minute of the day. And the invisible man has a special list of 10 things he does not want you to do. And if you do any of these 10 things, he has a special place full of fire and smoke, burning and torture and anguish, where he will send you to live and suffer and burn and choke and scream and cry forever and ever till the end of time. But he loves you. He loves you and he needs money. He's all, he always needs money. He's all powerful, all perfect, all knowing, all wise, somehow just can't handle money. <laughs> Joke number three. I'm a heavy smoker. I go through two lighters a day. And the other joke, oh, why is marijuana? I like, that was funny. Why is marijuana against the law? It grows naturally upon our planet. Doesn't the idea of making nature against the law seem to you a bit unnatural? Some of these will be easy. Some of these you will not get. Oh, but thanks. <laughs> I, I don't think anybody will get a 10, but if there's any comedy fans, they will. My parents had to tie a pork chop around my neck so the dog would play with me. <laughs> my psychiatrist told me I was crazy. And I said, I want a second opinion. He said, okay, you're ugly too. <laughs> that sounds like... Oh, shh, shh, don't say nothing. Who is not muted? I muted everybody. I don't know. Sorry, that was me. Yeah. Just Jeff and Susan. The easiest time to add insult to injury is when you're signing somebody's cast. But I used to play sports. Then I realized you can buy trophies. Now I'm good at everything. <laughs> I like that one too. It's a small world, but I wouldn't want to have to paint it. There's a fine line between fishing and just standing on the shore like an idiot. I don't worry about terrorism. I was married for two years. There's always 30 or 40 Christians standing around saying, it's a shame that he has to die. And Jesus is saying, well, maybe I wouldn't have to if somebody would get a ladder and a pair of pliers. Ooh. <laughs> That's bad. Too soon. You know you're old when someone compliments you on your alligator shoes and you're barefoot. <laughs> my cooking is so bad, my kids thought Thanksgiving was to commemorate Pearl Harbor. Uh -huh. Number nine, men read maps better than women because only men can understand the concept of an inch equaling 100 miles. I consider myself to be a pretty good judge of people. That's why I don't like any of them. I like rice. Rice is great when you're hungry and you want 2,000 of something. My belt holds up my pants, but the belt loops hold up my belt. I don't really know what's happening down there. Who is the real hero? And then I have a bonus. No. And the bonus, I'm just going to tell you the phrase, a simple phrase, 
And I'm, it's not part of the multiple choice. You have to come up with either the character or the real name of the person who said one ringy dingy. And the multiple choice comes from all come from the following list. Nobody's used twice. And that's the list that starts with, they're in alphabetical order, starts with Woody Allen, ends with Stephen Wright. So those are all the names right there. Oh, this is a good category. We've never tried this before. This is a really good. I've been wanting to do this one for a while. This is a very good one. Yeah. I think this is going to, I'm glad you, I was forgetting that you're going to give us the bonus. I mean, the people's names. And now, yeah, the, without now the names, it would be really I'm trying hard. to think of their names, so, so this will be easier now. Yeah, the only one I don't give the name for is the bonus. Okay, that's fine. That was really fun. Send us to our rooms. Okay. Yeah, if I could find that button again. There it is, breakout rooms. Open all rooms. It didn't, didn't send me. We lost the team members. No, we didn't. Yeah. Did we? Okay. Mono, how are you going to do on this one? Uh, I think I got only a couple. This is better than I thought. One, two, three, four. Five. Okay. My guess for number four is not on the list. Is that the Oh, poster? oh, oh, there's a problem. There what? are way more than 10. Right. Yeah. Yes. But we've got some of this. Okay, so, so should we go down in order or should we start with what we already know? Okay. Let's go in order. Okay. okay. Somebody else lead us. So mm -hmm. the first one's a female comic, right? Almost right. certainly. So there's Roseanne Barr. And let me look at this list here. Who else we got? Joan Phyllis Rivers Diller. and Phyllis Diller. And Joan Rivers. Are we in Phyllis Diller? Yeah. I identified the Phyllis Diller one later, so. I think it's Joan Rivers. Yeah, I would think it would be Joan. Yeah, that sounds like her. Yeah. Okay. Number two is George Carlin. I'm almost positive it's George Carlin. I'm positive because the, the whole religion thing. Yeah, it was a big thing. Yeah. But he loves you. Yeah, the only person, when he was reading it, I thought he might be Louis Black, but Louis is not. No. In the I don't even know who that is. Oh, Louis Black is very funny. He's on the Daily Show. He comes up. Has this. Oh, I've seen that show. Okay, okay, so number three, I'm a heavy smoker. I go through two lighters a day. I th I thought that was. Actually I think that I think that might be Dave Chappelle. I don't that's a good guess. That would be my guess is Dave Chappelle, because he smokes. Yeah, I think that's a good guess. Mm -hmm. Hey, if it's marijuana, it has to be a recent person. Yeah. Oh, the person I thought for number four isn't on the list. I thought it was right. and I think Dangerfield. number four might be Chris Rock. No, I think number four is Rodney Dangerfield. Yeah, it's an old. Yeah, okay. it's old. So it's Dangerfield was probably right because I thought it would Jack Benny. Yeah, definitely Dangerfield. Okay. I've heard him, I've heard him say that joke, second joke. Um. Could. I'm not sure who number five is. Um, I didn't have, let's see. I didn't have anything for that one. No. Let me look. It, yeah. it looks like the kind of thing that Seinfeld might say. Yeah, I can see that. It is pretty, I like the trophy one, that's funny. Okay. I, that's a kind of Seinfeldian joke, the trophy one. All right, let's put that. I, I mean, I'm just guessing, but. It's not Robin Williams and it's not Bob, uh, it's not uh, Bob Newhart. So mm -hmm. it's a small world. Okay, number six, I, I swear I know this first one. It's a small world, but I wouldn't want to have to paint. I'm sure I've heard Mark give this that one. Let's see. Um, Richard Pryor? No, what do you guys think? No. Uh. Who was married for two years? Could be Roseanne. 
Oh, that's that's not the one we're on, are we? Aren't we on five? Uh, we're on six, right? We're on six. Oh, what did we put? Oh, we said time fill. Okay, sorry. Sarah, I'm yeah. sorry. Okay, so six. I know that first line. God, who Bob Newhart, maybe? No. No. He did deadpan humor. Okay, number seven. Could that be Roseanne Barr? Mm. Should you do Christianity stuff? No, not so much on the Christian no, stuff. She was married for longer than two years. Oh, it's probably Kennison. I don't know who that is. I am Kennison. Possibly. Yeah. Yeah. You would like Kennison, uh, Susan. You should look into his story. He right. was a uh, preacher and then he got in a car accident and became a maniac. <laughs> maniac? Well, Maybe like, there just, drugs involved. Absolutely, there were drugs involved. Lots of cocaine, because <laughs> that's what they did back then. There's uh, a bullet hole in the comedy store sign from him. Okay, that sounds possible. Okay, I'll, I wrote Can number down. six be Robin Williams? Could be. That sounds maybe, yeah, let's put that. Uh, okay, so number eight. I, I would think I thought it was Phyllis Diller. Yeah, that, mm -hmm. that that's a woman's, yeah. Okay. She was always self-deprecating. Yeah. And she was a she was doing an act well into a very when she was quite old. So that got some of those jokes. Could number nine be Bill Cosby? It sounds like a woman. See, I don't yeah. see Cosby for the second line, especially. Oh, I just got the first nine, the first joke. it took you that long. <laughs> I guess I didn't really look at it that long. It's a penis joke. Yeah, what about Roseanne Barr for that? That seems fitting. Yeah, yeah, she's she's. I can't stand her, but yeah, that's. I'm sure that could be more her line. And number ten is Mitch Hedberg. Yeah, now this one for sure is the guy. Like, who, yeah. Mark showed me so much of his stuff, but I wasn't sure of his name. Who, who He's the guy who um, stands up there and line just does line. Yeah, like, why do you need I to get a receipt for a donut? What am I going to do? File it under D for donut in my filing cabinet? We do not need to bring ink and paper into this. It is just yes. a donut. He's so funny. Who is this person? So we Who have an error. Head? Who is that person? Number 10? I, I missed it. Mitch That's Hedberg. That's who she was describing. I know. What's his name? Mitch, Mitch. Hedberg. Oh, I never heard of him. Really? It's really yeah, funny. He, he passed away in the early 2000s. From he had a lot of anxiety time. issues and drug issues, I think. I, he has one, he says, my jacket is dry clean only, which means it's dirty. <laughs> he's really funny. But I, yeah, I, 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 I wouldn't have been able to pick him out of the list. I don't think. And he's like, I don't have a microwave. So sometimes I throw a potato in my oven in case I want a baked potato later. <laughs> We have at least one error because the bonus is her and no, he only... said that, that no, he said that the bonus person is not listed. It's Lily Tomlin. Oh. Is it Lily Tomlin? I was thinking of Lily Tomlin. He missed the Betty White moment here. No. It's Lily Tomlin. One ringy dingy. Yeah. I think on, um, was right, but I'm saying he should have given us a Betty White question. Yeah, but she's not she was not technically a comedian. Yeah, yeah she wasn't. She was an actress. Not a stand-up. Do not talk about Rose Nyland that way. <laughs> she really was. was uh, Lily Tomlin was a telephone operator, right? One of her catch, this is classic sketches. So, yeah. That one ringy dingy might what be. What was it on? Laughing? Uh, yeah, I think Laughing. I, I have not seen Laughing so long. Let me write that down too. And there was, what was that other Love American style? Oh my God, that was awful. I couldn't even watch that. My parents wouldn't allow me to watch it. So have we got 10? We, did it we was answer? probably we so answer. risque. Now it'd be like nothing. Excuse me. <laughs> there you go. Let it out. Yes. The, the, that's the How are you feeling, horrible. Dave? Okay. I'm burping a lot. Tired. Are you back to work? Uh, Monday. I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> so are, do you feel like you could go back to work or you just don't want to go back to work? 
both. Like I'm just dreading the stress of going back into a working environment with the pandemic, with Omicron raging right now. And just, I'm also really, like really tired too. So. It, but you feel okay? Yes and no. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it's probably odd. It's you know, odd thing. I'm trying to get a hundred grams of protein a day and drink 64 ounces of water. And today I managed to hit 800 calories for the first time. So you probably spend all your time in the bathroom. No, no, I don't actually. All that water? Nope. Hmm. I'm sorry. I missed something. She had, she had, I had bariatric surgery a month ago. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. Yeah. How did you know? She, she, Romero didn't tell us anything. He was just Romero. And then in the middle of the game, here comes. Here comes Faith laying in a hospital bed with her <laughs> mom beside her all of a sudden. Hi, and I maybe I'm in I the got hospital. Out of surgery, like... I'm on drugs. This is great. <laughs> but I want to play trivia. Oh, and because so I had funny. woke up. They had wheeled me out. I guess I got to the room around like three o'clock that afternoon. I don't know. I just remember my mom telling me 2.30, they finished everything. They wheeled you to the room. I just remember I slept a lot and got very upset that they brought me a Hershey's orange popsicle at like five o'clock and I was passed out. So I couldn't eat it and it melted everywhere. Uh -oh. And these are supposed to be like the gold that only the hospital get. You can't buy these in stores. So oh, I was man. Very upset. But yeah. And then, and then your mom said, did your mom wake you up for trivia? <laughs> No, I woke, I woke up and I, I had noticed I had a text message from Romero that was just like, when you wake up and you see this, no, I love you and I hope you're okay. Aww. And I was like, let me join trivia. <laughs> Give me the link. That was so funny. And I've gone back through like my, because I was scrolling through TikTok and I found all these videos I liked, but I don't remember doing it. <laughs> Do you so. still like them? <laughs> no, I unlike them. I was just like, what the fuck was you going on the, with you? Did you look at the trivia game that we we videoed that night? I haven't. I haven't. I'll have to go well, back. I'm going to try. That'd be hilarious to go see. Just to see how, how it looked. But it was, we were just playing and all of a sudden there's Faith joining and she is in a hospital. And the nurses are coming in to check my blood pressure. So I'm pulling my mask back on. I'm like, we're blood trivia. Yes, the nurse. Do you know the capital? <laughs> What is the official bird of? <laughs> yeah. Actually, if you're in a hospital, you can call upon a lot of people in the same building, right? That's, yeah, that's true. If they're in the room, <laughs> you can just keep hitting the nurse's bell. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me the answers to this question. Well, I just really wanted to know if you can remember a 1950s uh, movie that had an iconic building in it. <laughs> you don't? Okay, next. Yeah. Love somebody else. It, was it okay to go through the surgery at the hospital during COVID? I mean, did it feel different or was it just about the same? You just it was okay. I think one of the, what it, what occurred to me now is because I was doing so well, generally they keep you two nights, but I think they wanted me out because they, I was not going to have complications and they needed to keep the bed because this was right as Omicron was but, beginning but they, to make but around. Your bed wasn't equipped for a bed for Omicron, does it? Or no, but it, but they wanted to, they want to keep beds free because oh, I think almost a hundred percent of the people that are hospital, like Rob shared an article that the hospital near us, like everybody that is in there for COVID is unvaccinated. So yeah. And they're bringing them from rural counties around us. Wow. Okay. Great job. You guys, we did 10. <laughs> years, years ago, you know, Carl, years ago, I was looking for just when I had first come to Chicago, and I was looking for things to do and I was doing some phone solicitation and I was doing for one of these uh, allied arts, one of the arts organizations in town. And I got on the list to call, I got Emo Phillips. So I called him up and he answered. And so I, I he, he was just so weird. He was as weird talking to him on the phone as he was on, I mean, he was just weird. And, uh, you know, I mean, I said, I'm calling for allied arts. And he says, is that like the World War II allies? Just, I mean, something really inane, but it was, just, it was just so weird. But I did get to talk to Emo Phillips, but he didn't give me any money. <laughs> I met him. He's, he's really odd. odd. He's very odd. Remember Paula? 
He came to the what? IIG. He did a talk at the IIG. Yeah, he 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 would. Uh, he's a good friend of Ron Lynch. He does the Tomorrow Show that used to be at. Uh, I liked uh, that. I liked the Tomorrow Show. That was the only it's still going on. They started. They started it back up at a different theater, like five weeks ago. But it's been on Instagram the entire pandemic, until about five weeks ago. Hmm. All, all we can ever see is the top of your head. I like it that way. Okay, I figured <laughs> since it was like that every week, that that's just your your preferred view. Yeah, she's weird. She's weird. Let me tell she's you. She's very proud of her forehead. Yeah. <laughs> she likes her that's, part. She that's where that. the that's where the genius dwells. You know? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm pulling a, I'm pulling a Bob <laughs> this week. It's really freaking cold in my bedroom. So I'm wearing a hat. Uh, yeah. But, it's, I'm not uh, wearing a hat. That's unusual, but I am wrapped in a blanket. Go ahead, Kevin. 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 Are we all we all back. Yeah. Oh, good. There's a photo I took of George in 1990. Yeah. Oh, from, uh, he's gonna give you a hug. Oh, he was the best. He was gonna give he's you a hug. Absolutely, my favorite. Hands yeah, down. I like George. The best. I have to ask you, how many celebrities have restraining orders against you, Kevin? <laughs> none. 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 Celebrities and, and musicians. You get so close to them. I don't know. I get permission. Mm -hmm. I met his daughter. I met mm. his daughter a couple years ago. Oh, we did too. Didn't she come and speak at IAG? Maybe, but I uh -huh. met her at the comedy show in he, um See, Rob, he uses false identities, so there's a bunch of restraining mm. orders against other right. people. Oh, yeah. So, Paula. Mm. Okay, what? the answer. Wasn't George Number... Carlin's daughter to give a lecture at... Uh, Kel Kelly I... Carlin. Yeah. I, I thought so. Okay. Yeah, yeah, she has right. a book out, too. She's pretty pretty good. Fingers crossed. We need Number money. one is Joan Rivers. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Number two is George Carlin. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll take it. Number three is Bill Hicks. Yes. Hey. Oh. Trying to post the answers here. Too many. You can post them all at the end if you want. If yeah. it'll make it easier. I never I like can do it. all the answers together in one. Yeah, I'm gonna copy post them like three anyway. at a time. If I do ten, it always cuts something off. Right. Number four is Rodney Dangerfield. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Number five is Dimitri Martin. Oh. oh. Number six yeah. is Stephen Wright. Oh, we had those two switch. Damn it. I saw great. that. I was cringing. Oh, no. uh, yeah, they seven. Have similar style. Yeah, yep. it's similar type of humor. Sem seven is Sam Kinison. Yes. Yeah. Eight is Phyllis Dilla. Yes. Nine is Roseanne Barr. Mm -hmm. Ten is Mitch Hedberg. Yes. Yes, Ooh. Paula. Yeah. And the bonus is, of course, Ernestine or Lily Tomlin. Yay! 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 I think we got a couple of tens in there. When I saw those three guys, I said, "Now I got to sort out who said what." I but I could tell which. <laughs> yeah, you, you were a big help, Bob. Yeah. Yep, I was listening to that conversation. I was like, "Yep, he knows what he's talking about." Yeah. Oh, we just had those two switched, and we even said that they're similar. Oh well. That was really fun. That was a that cool. was a good category. I've seen the Dimitri Martin one recently. I saw it. I've seen uh, live George Collin, Rodney Dangerfield, Stephen uh, Sam Kinison. I was at his recording of his album at a club in Brockton, Mass. I haven't oh. seen. Dimitri Martin in years because I, I just don't have cable and I would see him on the Comedy Central or something like yeah, that. But I haven't seen him in he's years. He's got a Netflix special. The only, the only playing, one of the, he's playing in my area next week. The only one of those people, anyway, 15th. although it wasn't one of the right answers, Jerry Seinfeld is the one I've seen in person. And he was an absolute nobody. He played at Pips in Sheepshead Bay in Brooklyn. And he was one of 10 people who like no one who knew who they were. Yeah, <laughs> I saw, a and, I, and I just double checked that. I googled it, and they're commemorating the death of the owner of that of that comedy club, and they mentioned Jerry Seinfeld having played there. So yeah, I, I, I saw dozens of them before they were famous, like Carrot Top, and um, I would have loved to have seen Bill Hicks, but then suddenly he died. Yeah, I know he was great. Him. One of my favorites. They got a yeah. movie out. His brother did a movie about him. Oh yeah, I saw good. that. Okay, yeah, one of my okay, we're ready to go. Of course. So let's start with the uh, B cubed plus J in D. Nine. Oh. And they are in the lead. 
All that right, is... no more scores. We're done. <laughs> right, everybody. All right, yeah. All right, everybody. Joker Dukovnik. Eight. Okay, so we're in the lead. All right. Woo! Done. Let's go. Um, <laughs> 2022 feels like 2020. 10. Oh. How come it didn't change? Or it did. Yeah, it did. No, it did. Okay. Uh, is Billy Joel still alive? Has anybody checked on Billy Joel? Also 11. 10. Oh. Jerk. You guys. Jeez. <laughs> Uh, Damn it! Wow. We can't catch you up. That is not fair. Somebody's cheating. You guys ready for the musical you? category? Who slipped Both Kevin a Mickey okay. or a hot dog or wiener? I think no teams are allowed to have Carl. Carl could just be on his own team. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. <laughs> Number one draft pick. <laughs> no, I filled in the gaps that Carl left on this one. <laughs> Surprisingly. Why? <laughs> That's why they're called teams. Now, the yeah. last category, either you're all going to get tens or you're all going to get like threes, depending oh, if right. I use mono rules. Oh. <laughs> oh, we're playing because mono rules? Mono. No, I'm not sure. I'm thinking about it. With mono it's, here? The only yeah. thing is the pool of, how big is the pool of possibilities? That's what I'm going to tell you. There's 57 choices. This yeah, mono rules. rules. Do it. Mono rules? rules. Mono rules. Oh. Okay. No. <laughs> we're gonna get to see what I this like is mono like. rules. I the like combinatorics allow for 10, 10, four tens. <laughs> you got a huge pool to choose from, then that's the way you go. Yeah, otherwise yeah. everything's ten. Have you calculated the odds on that, Kyle? Or you can limit it. That we get four tens. Twenty or twenty-five, Kevin. <laughs> I want to know the, say odds. the statistical odds that that is going to happen. Now, because I I can't research them all that fast <laughs> to make sure. Uh, no, I'll, I like I'll the idea you... of doing mono rules when mono is here, and he's on yeah. my team, so that'll be more fun. <laughs> I'll tell you this: it's you a musical. It's a musical category. I'm trying to find the photo that goes along with it. This is also photos that I took. I'm trying What's to find the, the photo. Called? Take me one second. One second. One second. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What? Oh. Which model camera did he take the photos? <laughs> Canon, A, Canon AE1. <laughs> Look, I have a Canon 81. It's probably broken. 1980. So there are 57 people. Six. There are 57? 57 top 40 hits by this person. Billy Joel. Oh. Not Billy Joel. <laughs> the other piano man, Elton John. Ooh. Yeah, better oh, to do yeah. my Now, but, but there's a couple I'm going to scratch right off the top because of. Hmm? Because, because of my directions. Okay, I'll give you the directions. The bonus round, Elton John. Across his career, Elton John has had 58 top 40 hits in the United States, second only to Elvis Presley, with 27 of these hitting the top 10 and nine reaching number one. Recently, October 13th, last year, he hit another milestone 50 years after his first striking goal with your song. Elton John tallied his 58th top 40 hit with someone named du Dua Lipa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Dua Lipa. And the song was Cold Heart. It rose to number 32 on the Billboard chart. Allowing him to pass Michael Jackson's previous record of 40 appearances, excluding the holiday songs, spanning 46 years, eight months, and three weeks. So mm -hmm. the amount of time between hits, that's what he broke the record. Now, if Elton John did all his top 40 hits live in concert, the concert would be over three hours long and would not include Tiny Dancer. Besides the three I named above, can you name 10 of Elton's top 40 hits? Mono rules. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, oh. Sinister Rooms. Okay, so yours. I don't think I know any Elton. John. I know one that most of them may not have, and it's his Christmas song. Okay, what is it? Step into Christmas. St what? Step? Step into Christmas. Yeah, this is one of my favorite holiday songs. How does it go? Step into Christmas. That's all I remember. 
I could play it for you, but I wouldn't do that right now. Who knows any other Elton John songs? Danny? Let's just put any we can name and then eliminate. Yeah. So Candle in the Wind. Mm -hmm. Daniel. Daniel. Uh, Wasn't there a, oh, my, Manny. Was he, did he do that? Oh, Manny. Oh, that was Crocodile Rock. Oh, yeah, Crocodile Rock. Crocodile Rock. Didn't he do Manny? Met, oh, oh, Manny. Dun, 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 something like that. I'll put Manny. Was it... I, am I making it up or is it really a song? I might be making it up. You might be, but it's better than nothing at this point. <laughs> oh, Manny. Da, da, da. I'm going to put Oh, Manny. <laughs> That's Mandy. Oh, oh, Mandy. There you go. See? Told you. All right. And it's not Elton John. And that's okay. not. No, it's Barry Manilow. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Barry Manilow. You're not supposed <laughs> to be helping us. Go away. I won't. Yeah. That was it, but I just couldn't help myself. <laughs> <laughs> Manny. <laughs> this is that bad. You this song, oh, Manny. This song is for you. I'm glad. Oh, yeah, this you. song is for you. Good one. We're no help. Wait, 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 hold on. Isn't that the same thing as your song? How about my song? Oh, that might be. I'm not sure what it's, what it's called. And then your song doesn't count for the list, right? Right. The ones I mentioned. Oh, there was three. That's right. Tiny Dancer, Cold Heart, and your song. Yeah, yeah. believe it or not, Tiny Dancer only went to the like number 44 or something. Didn't break the top 40. Because huh. it was early. It got real re popular because of the movie. Go away! You're giving us too much talk talk. No, but I'm not giving you anything else. Um, I know, but we're trying to think. Yep, I know. <laughs> I don't know any of his other songs. Okay, so this will be easy to do modern rules. <laughs> We're only gonna get ten. <laughs> um, how many we got? We have four. Did he cool. do? Can you feel the love tonight? Yes, he did. He did, and uh, did he do? Did he do any other Disney songs? Did he do Baby Shark? Do, 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 do. <laughs> he did not do Baby Shark, thank God. Mama Shark. Do, do. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we doing that? You don't have kids that can do that, Susan. <laughs> uh, what is trying to be helpful? What is that song that's always popular at wedding reception? Oh, we can't do holidays. Oh, oh, hold on. No, never mind. I just read that. The wrong. Wind Beneath My Whales. <laughs> my no, that is Bette words. Midler, Wind Beneath My Wings. Did you ever know that you're my hero? No, okay. Susan's refer. She meant whales. The Wind Beneath <laughs> My Whales. It's a <laughs> British. The wind Beneath My <laughs> Whales. <laughs> Whale song. <laughs> it was like. What else? Like, did anybody see the Ellen John movie? No. Oh, Rocket Man. Rocket Man. <laughs> wow, you got it. Rocket Man. What about the safety dance? Safety dance is not Elton not John. Him. It's just <laughs> stay the, here. What's there the no safety help. dance? Romero, what's the safety dance? Like the safety dance. No, that's not how it goes. Okay. I don't know. I know you don't know, so just shut up. Did he ever do the YMCA? Like, what else did he sing? Dancing Queen? No. That's Abba. That's Abba. Oh my gosh. And extra gonna Also, start a little too on the nose for his time. Yes, do not start naming David Bowie. How about something or... about glasses? I see you in the springtime. There is a song that is very popular at weddings that the crowd always joins in on the key line. And I, oh, I'm that's the to... chicken dance. <laughs> no, I'm going to, I'm no. going to mute you guys. <laughs> Susan, so... you and Ramirez have been regulated to the corner. Keep going, Mana. We might get this. Come on, Romero. Uh, no, go. I'm going to mute you because when people are talking, I the song is on the edge of my um, brain. 
but I can't get it. So I'm going to mute you guys until I get it. Okay. Turn us down. I know. Move the cuerpo con alegría, Macarena. No, it's okay. Callate, callate, callate. Move the cuerpo. Move the cuerpo. You said it's a wedding song. Wait, wait. Move the cuerpo. Move the cuerpo. There was an incident in the '90s where he was alegría, Macarena, huh? There was some controversy in the 90s. He did a duet thing at some event with Eminem. Does anybody remember what Elton song they used? Oh, God. Have something to do with candy? Chocolate. No, I, I, I made a mistake. The song I'm thinking of is a Neil Diamond song. Okay. <laughs> so how many do we have? Six. We are up to six. Okay. Um, why can't I ask you? <laughs> what, I want she's to, in the room. She's <laughs> in the room. <laughs> Gee, I wish I had a song. I Alexis. <laughs> I do sorry over here. Anything to do with Rhode Island? Out it or lighthouses, New York, New York. No, that is Frank Sinatra. Okay. Hey, did he do something for Punch and Judy? <laughs> he did not, not lighthouses either. <laughs> Our name, did he ever record anything? Oh, Billy he Joel, get one point question. How about my greatest hits? <laughs> More of an album title than what a about song like name. Susie Q or something. Oh, Q. Um, I think that's a CCR song, but could yeah, also, yeah, that's a CCR or something song. similar to that. A boy named Sue. No, a boy named Sue is um Johnny Cash. Yes. How about Elton John? Man, you're so no, that's Rocket. You're thinking rocket. wears lots of weird glasses and he hangs out with Princess Diana. You should wear sunscreen is not Elton John. Could you please stop? You don't know shit about any of this. Did he do Jesus Christ Superstar? Nope. No. Jesus. Did Lady Gaga cover any of his songs? Oh, that's a good idea. That's how a about possibility. how about Weird Al Yankovic? Did he cover any of the songs? Doubt it. Maybe. Eat it. No, that's this uh, Michael, <laughs> Michael Jackson. Jackson. I have no idea. Why has Weird Al Yankovic not done any Billy Joel songs? Why didn't he do any Billy Joel songs? Because I was listening to Billy Joel in the car. Oh, we're doing Elton John. Sorry. I know. Yeah, I study Billy Joel to, for this for today. How about I Love Rock and Roll? Is there a song called Ben or something? <gasps> ben, the two of us. Something dun, 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 dun. It was about a rat. Ben, the two. Is, did he do Ben? Put Ben, ben on there. We don't have a ben. Room. All right, I'm putting Ben. Was ben it's about a rat. Something like that. Ben, the two of us. Dun, 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 dun. Stop talking. I'm singing. I'm talking. <laughs> I don't listen to Elton Talk. Yeah, me either. All I can think of is Baby Shark. <laughs> do, 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 do. Any, is there any lines you're thinking of that we could just kind of throw some more salad down? Christmas? No, because I think that's the only Christmas song. And do you know the name of it? It's Step Into Christmas. Christmas. It's on is that like holiday. a workout song? No, it's on my Christmas playlist. I like weird, obscure stuff. A workout song. Like um, Emerson, Lake, and Palmer is on my Christmas list. The Who, you know, got some Manaheim Steamroller in there. Oh, yeah, a little bit of Trans Siberian. The Waitresses. What about what doesn't kill you makes you stronger? That is not Elton John. 
What do you sing? What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Is that a song? That is Kelly Clarkson. You sit. How about here. Don't Worry, Be Happy? <laughs> no, that's Bobby McFerrin. Or Living on an Island with a Margaritaville. That's that. You know who that is. You know exactly who that is. Oh, you don't. Okay. Billy, or not Billy, but uh, Davy Crockett. Buffett. Jimmy Buffett. Elton John would not bust out his flip flop stepping on a pop top, and you know that. <laughs> he wears flip flops. I thought he wore boots. As part of the song. Flip flops. Oh, oh, Margaritaville. Uh, stepped on a pop top, busted out my flip flop. Um. But there's a workout song you said. No, I don't know. There's at least forty songs, you guys. We should be doing this better. Who is it again? We're doing oh, Elton my. John. <laughs> Did he write a song about a woman, a man using a name? American no, that is. Oh, yeah. Do, 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 do. There's one by the Guess Who. <laughs> Kyle's like, <laughs> you guys are yeah. crazy. Um, could, he's, he's British, so maybe he wrote something about the royal family, maybe something about Andrew and, and, and Jeffrey. No. No. <laughs> Let's just name British cliches and stuff. <laughs> Gin and tonic. <laughs> Hey, he was Go really into it. Princess Diana. Did he ever Don't know touch my Yorkshire pie. <laughs> uh, it's a meat pie. pie. There's no fruit in it. How about Diana? Diana, you rule for that me. Was what, that was um, uh, oh, Candle no in the Wind. But didn't he? That was after she died, didn't she? He yes, he wrote that about her. But and you're when you're going, Diana, it's Rosanna. Oh, Rosanna. Do we have candle in the wind in the list. Yes, we, we do. do. Yeah. Okay. So maybe you should list the ones we have, and maybe it'll spur something in our. All mind. right. I've got step into Christmas, candle in the wind, Daniel, crocodile rock. Can you feel the love tonight? Rocket man, Ben, gin and tonic. Don't touch my Yorkshire pie. And I put the Doctor Who theme song. <laughs> oh that's great <laughs> but which season <laughs> which doctor the peter gunn song theme song no you wouldn't do james bond can you imagine oh, Elton John is Jim? Jim he didn't do a Titanic. That was Celine Dion. Is there an Elton musical? You are my hero. There was a movie. They titled it Rocket Man. Yeah, yeah, Rocket Man. What was in there? What were the songs in there? Come on. Tell me them. Watch it. Yeah, I didn't see that. Me neither. Oh my god, we're gonna lose because we didn't watch no, Rocket Man. No, the Spaceman song that you're talking about is David Bowie. Oh, there was a Spaceman. Didn't Rocket Man? Oh, never mind, Rocket Man. Yeah. But the space stuff you're talking about is David Bowie. Who died on my birthday? Aww. This made me sad. God. How about yeah, something David from Bowie here? Tomorrow, I believe. Did you write anything from here? From the musical he didn't write. Mm. Orgy and Bess. Summertime and the. I love that song. James and the Giant Peach. <laughs> <laughs> I have no help. Distracting. Sorry, you guys. I'm just so distracted. I saw about something Send about. Me on my way. Say it again. That's the title. Send me on my way. He's That's already got guess. better stuff than that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and one of them is the theme song for Doctor Who. What else did you say, Kyle? Uh, don't touch my Yorkshire pie, gin and tonic, and send me on my way. <laughs> so what British people like tea, gardens. How about how about, buses. how about how about how about aluminium? That's Australia. No, they do that in Britain too, don't they? Do they? Keep your keep your Z off me. A to Z by Elton John. By Elton John. Yeah, Elton John. A to, a to Z. Z by Elton John. Yeah. <laughs> Which is in the title. Yeah. What? We're looking for it. 
Long live the queen. How about, yeah, he's been around as long as she has, has right? God, oh, God, not God, God bless save America. the queen. God save, sex God save the queen. I would say Prince Charles. Charles, man, Chucky, man, Chuck, Chuck ears. <laughs> He has a lot of songs that sound like the Crocodile Rock, but we're just a different story. Uh, okay, do Crocodile Rock. That, no, he, I just mean that that he had a song uh, with Kiki D, right? Elton John and Kiki D. They sang a song. Remember? Who's she? A big I hit. I don't know who that is. Kiki D. We uh, this famous. I remember that was a big hit. There you go, the Kiki D song. No, no, it just. You got any lines? Yeah, I'm going to uh, hey, mute Davey, you. Hey, what's your zodiac sign? So that I can think. Such a funny What about sandcastles? That seems on brand. Sky? Yeah. Riders on the storm. <laughs> yeah. Don't go breaking my heart. Don't go breaking. My oh heart. yes! Don't go breaking my oh, heart. Oh my gosh! Where did you, you pull go. that out of motto? Yeah, I, I was. She sings that with Kiki D, and they alternate lines. I don't remember that now. Put that, put that. Replace don't touch my Yorkshire pie with don't go breaking my heart. No, no, leave the Yorkshire pie in no, the we last need, minute. We need all the points we you can You know, get. I remember that. I didn't know it was Alton John. Don't go breaking my heart. Don't go breaking oh, no, my heart. How about coins from heaven? Or no, not coins. We have 10. Happens from heaven. Kyle, do we have 10? We have 10. Well, one is gin and tonic. So, you know that. Oh, but I like the Yorkshire pie bit. <laughs> no, what was, what was your suggestion, Susan? Coins from heaven? No, no, they use, they use um, 10 pennies and, and what do they use over there? Oh, what's that big yeah. bicycle called? The Toss a coin to Farthington my bicycle? Toss a coin to my witcher? <laughs> Um, no, no, the, the Penny he Farthing. The, the Penny Farthing. I don't know what a song would be about it. He'd more likely eat a sandwich called Penny Farthing than write a song. Penny, Penny. I, I think we're good. Penny we'll... Lane. How about Penny Lane? <laughs> Penny Lane. Penny Lane. Penny Lane. Maybe the Beatles got it all from him. Good. My rest was normal. Interesting. And mine's and and I'm um I'm overweight and not in the I'm not in the best shape right now, uh, and mine's about 97, 98. Uh -huh. That's better than mine. Mine mine just normally what goes. What are you talking about? Oxygen blood oxygen levels oh, is an indicator. Give me a program. break. We're not recording this. We're going to lose our entire <laughs> audience if we, we have a conversation. It's about all about COVID. Oxygen. See COVID. I'm not talking yeah, about my colonoscopy. <laughs> I have asthma. I've never had a blood oxygen above ninety-five. Not if, with COPD, that's a that's a normal level. Our team was having a lot more fun. You have to watch the video. We were singing. We, we oh yeah, that more fun, than you fun did. to me. Baby shark. That is not Elton John. We've been through this ten times. <laughs> so we, uh, we had it a great occurred time to me. Too. It's just we've been back so long. Oh yeah, we're like, <laughs> damn it. We all we almost <laughs> solved the world hunger problem. So so it actually <laughs> occurred to me that we all talked a lot about mono rules and never really said what they were. Really? So people watching not, the video might not be aware. People watching of the video don't know. Oh, do, mono know. do you want to explain what mono rules are? Hey, Jeff. Sure. Mono. Hey, 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 mono. Mono. <laughs> mono. 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 Mono pointed out that you can have a play of words that you can also spell it m-o-n-o -O rules for single mono oh. yeah. mm. and some people do spell my name that way okay <laughs> they're, they're wrong, wrong. Really, people they're say wrong but indulge me for a minute let me pick five songs to see if anybody got these this is what i if i was on a team i would have picked nikita Who? nikita hey. anybody get nikita no i'm yeah, still i'm song? i'm still standing no, no, we opted oh, to not. I forgot that one. We had it in the list and took it out. I, I guess that's why they call it the blues. 
I had. No, that. I love that yeah. song. Oh, yeah. Okay. I was gonna. Yeah, that's that's what you I would have done along that <laughs> line. Okay. So who's gonna go first? Don't we go with the team that's in the least place? Yeah, that's yeah, why yeah, I'm yeah. asking you who's gonna go first. Okay. So that would be team number three. B three. B cubed plus J plus D. So what oh, do, do we got? need the, whole, the list so that we can just make read sure them off one and slowly. Or and we then just assume read them slowly and then 40. somebody from the other team. I'll tell you if it's not on the list. All right. And then our, someone else. Our first one is burn down the mission. Hmm. It's on burn the list. down the mission. I'm going to have to search that one. Never heard that one. You need it. We were coming up with some obscure ones. Down. But is it on Kevin's list? I'm, I'm looking now. That's what we got to check. It's a great Burn. song. You know what? <laughs> Karen knows everything. I mean, Can you oh. sing it? Ben, sing it for us. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're, you're under the mistaken impression that I know what that I vaguely song. remember. I don't. I don't. Oh, I thought you couldn't get a point for a song unless you could sing it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not the only one on this. Team. Are you two points? I don't, don't sing it. <laughs> we'll have a very unique list. It's just none of them will be in the top ten. Top you, ten. You Kevin, where are you looking? What kind of thing are you looking at? Songs are not in alphabetical order. We're oh, gonna no. Yeah, I'm Kevin, looking. Oh, no. like, but I'm on. Do you have a list? You can just do a search. If it's a, no, if it's no, I did, and it didn't find it on the list. Okay, okay so, so that would be a miss. Top, top forty. Yeah. It's a miss. yeah, I'm just double checking in case. Uh, I it just was double checking. It was on 1970 Tumbleweed Connection. Tumbleweed. Yeah, but was it a hit? I don't the... think it was a hit. Mm -hmm. So no, the answer is no. Didn't make nope. the top 40. <laughs> no. Um, it's no good. <laughs> All right, so we move on then. Yes, it was not a hit. All right, um, <laughs> someone saved my life tonight. Oh, I love that that was, de that was definitely a hit. All right, anyone That's else? That's on the list? That's on the list? It definitely was a hit, yes. Anyone? Else has it. Sounds What's like you got a point. Good. Yay. Yay. Island Girl. Ooh. Also a hit. Anyone else? Nope. Nope. Ooh, give us another point. Daniel? Nope. Yeah, we got it. Yes. Oh, oh. Well, it was a hit, good. but yeah. Hey, okay, Benny and the Jets. Yes. Yeah, we got that one. Yeah. Goodbye, Yellow Brick Road. Yeah, we got that. God, we missed so many. <laughs> mono. It's all because of mono rolls. <laughs> Get back, honky cat. I liked oh. that song. Get back. Yeah, honky we got cat. that. Better get back. In the woods. We have get similar back. taste. Baby shark. Stop having all of our songs, man. <laughs> uh, don't let the sun go down on me. We got. No, no, we don't have that one. No, we don't. Anyone? Kevin? I got a point. That's a hit. That's number two. What's to number no two? No one else has it? Wow. Nope. Wow. The bitch is back. Ooh. Oh, remember that? Oh, you guys are making a run. Kevin, well, that was a hit. Home. That was a hit. Went to number four. Wow. No one else? No. Okay. All the rest of us are going to You may have won this round. Yeah. Philadelphia Freedom. <laughs> yeah, we got, yeah, we got that got one. That. Oh. Yeah. Number one. All right, everyone else is fired. <laughs> so that's four out of ten. Not bad. That's pretty good. Yeah, four. Pretty good. probably one of the best scores. <laughs> you got yeah, four. Uh, we it was very much a team effort. Everyone was throwing out songs, and we tried to pick the more obscure ones. So okay, four. I'm team. using the list I just posted in there, and I'm going down the U.S. category list for top forty. Okay, Joker, Joker Dukovnik. All right, that's us. We've got Step Into Christmas. Mm. I have to search for that one. It is on there because I look. It's my favorite 40. Christmas call. All right. What? Moving on. Or wait, no. Oh. Wait. Step Into Christmas. I'm looking. Oh, no, it didn't make it in the U.S. Not yep. in the U.S. Not in the U.S. It's 40 in uh They should have bought 1,200 Australia. copies of it. All her fault. Not that. It's not a hit. Sorry, Frank. Right. You could have jacked it up by buying more copies. <laughs> didn't know. So, candle in the wind. Yeah, yep. we have that. 
Daniel. We already cast yeah, we had that. that one. Oh, sorry, I missed it. It is there. It's under 1970s. It came out in 73. What did? But it's not on the US billboard. Yeah. It didn't make it into the top in the top 50. Because Faith didn't buy it. It's not placed. Copies. It's the second to last column in the Okay. Okay, now I see. Yeah. All right. Then we've got the crocodile rock. Yep. Yeah, we have that. Hey. That's my have... least favorite song of Elton John. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> Can you feel the love tonight? Got it. We got, then we got that one. Feel Rocket Man. We got that one. Ben. Ben is is not by Elton John. That's Michael Jackson. Ben yeah. is Michael Jackson. Oh, that's Dang. right. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. It's about a rat. It's talking about know, a rat. I know. I know. Don't go breaking my heart. With we Kiki got that B. one. Send me on my way. I think that's the one we said was not a hit. I'm going to double check it. That's Which not one? on the list. All right. And that was all we had. Unless there's a song called Gin and Tonic. <laughs> oh, the other one. How many did you get? We, we, no, we got rid of Don't Touch My Yorkshire Puddings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the gin and tonic line is from a, is from another is from a song. And we also oh, had a pure guest. We did not we did not stick with the Doctor Who theme. Uh, <laughs> Tyler, <laughs> it, was the the Doctor Who. it was that or Baby <laughs> Shark. So we got <laughs> Zip. Do we, we get zero? Goose Egg? Whoa! Whoa. Like a Queen zero. It's gonna take a couple of gin and tonics to get me on my feet again. That's the line. Okay, twenty twenty two feels like twenty twenty two. The only right. problem is I still don't think we're coming from behind. I think we're at too much of a deficit. We have uh, we have That's four not a song. We have four left. Saturday yeah. nights all right for fighting. That's the title. Was a hit. Oh. We're the only ones who can contend with you, so and we don't have it. All right, we got that point. Yep. Yeah, that was right. twelve. Candle in the wind, ninety six. Got it. Yeah. But you wrote both candles in the wind. You didn't say that last time. 96. Two? You only said it once, Kyle. Did you write both songs down? We had Candle in the Wind, and we had it listed once. No, no so this is a different Candle song. Candle in the, in the Wind, wind was not 1996. It was 1997. What's the title, Kevin? Um, I see Candle in the Wind. It's listed twice. Yeah, because uh, did Candle it. in the Wind is 1987 live version. And then uh, 1997. The one was for Princess Diana. Yeah, Princess yeah. Diana. You got it off by a year. <laughs> They're tough. It's Candle and Wind in 97. Yeah. Oh, seriously? Yeah. That, that, oh, yeah, that's, that's seriously wrong. Nobody else oh. got it. You gotta, no. Nobody else got it, though, anyway, right? But it's right. wrong year. The wrong year. Yeah, wrong it's, year. It's not wrong a song. title. Wow. There was no uh, plus or minus wait, on that wait. one. No. <laughs> on your list, does, is it called Candle in the Wind 97? Yes. Okay. 1997. That was for Princess Diana's funeral. Yeah. Something about the way you look tonight, Candle in the Wind 1997 is the official title. <sighs> well, those are back to back singles. Or something more. like that. Sorry seems to be the hardest word. Definitely a hit. We don't have it. And lastly, sacrifice. We do not have it. Is it a hit? I gotta see if it's a hit. I think it is. I think it's the same as the one that uh, just it came that, out. That Cold Heart is based on. Yeah. 1989, it went to number three. There you go. Number so three? It counts. Yep. Three? Yep, went to number 18. Okay, so the last, last team. Yep. That would be, All right. uh, is Billy Joel still alive? W wondering about your Elton known. So uh, we have sad songs. The songs. We sing. have. Uh, Get it on the list, Kevin? Yeah, there's definitely a hit. There's also we commercial have, uh, sex Blue songs. Eyes. What is it? Blue Eyes. Blue Eyes. Baby's Got Blue Eyes. It's just called Blue Eyes. It's on the list there. Found. It's there. It's number 12, 82. We have Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. It's a hit. 
And we have, I guess, why they guess that the why they call it the blues. Time that makes four. Hands. It'd be time. Trying to find Lucy to make sure that was a top 40. No one else was. had called it the blues. I guess that's why they call it the blues was a hit. Yes, 1974. It went to number one. Nobody else had it? Kevin, Kevin would have had it, but he wasn't playing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They get four. Listen, this guy was was a hit, yeah. and guess that's why they call it the blues was a hit. That's four, that's four. for us, Jeff. Yep. Arr. And we have our final scores. By a long shot, Ooh. is Billy oh. Joel still alive? Does anybody check to see if Billy Joel is still alive? That's time I checked. How about does anybody that's check to see if Donald Trump is still alive? Ugh. I don't want to. Well, we, we were right predicting the mono rules team. We said no one's going to get higher than a four, probably like three. You're supposed and to if, answer. If about, Billy Joel dies in the next week, I'm not playing trivia. And, <laughs> you're supposed to say yeah, about, ever again, I, right? You're really supposed to say, is Donald Trump still alive? That and you're happened. supposed to do a. Okay. You're supposed yeah, to does play. anybody know, is Donald Trump still alive? No. It's like praying. It's like. Nobody even wants to check, though. Last time I checked. All right. Caspian is on for February 4th. I'm going to be really bored. I will have plenty of time to think about it. Do you want to do the whole <laughs> round? No. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be emphatic about it or anything. Wait, what, what, did you say for February? Yeah. You're playing that far ahead? Oh, my God. He's gone. This is in between trips. He's going to take off again oh. after that. Woo -hoo. All right. Okay. Good night, folks. I'm off. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, never mind. I don't have. I don't have. Um, who's gotta get next week. Winning teams next week. It's Rob. I'm on the no list. one. I'm on the list, right? Yeah. Okay. I can do one. Okay. Next week I won't be there anyway. Oh, do you want the week after? No, I, I'm. I have to think about this. Okay. <laughs> Oh, look at him. He got real skinny in the last, since the, since some, the summer. Why is he wearing the wow. same tie? <laughs> <laughs> Can't he afford to you wear a tie? Times. You no, can hardly tell it's Billy Joel. Is that really Billy Joel? Yeah, it's yeah. him, yeah. No, oh, I, mean, I was thinking of Elton John, I mean, sorry. Look, Never mind. He doesn't look bad. You know, look at, the, you know, look at him on the right there with the glasses. He, that's he Elton very John. different without the hair. That's Elton Elton right there. Glasses. He, he looked it. really different as a black kid. <laughs> <laughs> he aged out of it and then the the guy down below okay so Oops, i have sorry. rob i have carl i'm not doing it for a while okay that was fun it was great kevin good night kevin that was, that was a good day. 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 i was trying to be Sunday. weird on some of it you know what i mean i like to yeah, be kevin kevin really yeah. fun kevin yes Dave barry had a story about uh, art, you know humorist about how children are always feel that their parents are going to embarrass them, their fathers especially. And he said, you're walking on the street and there was this girl clinging onto a man and saying, please, daddy, please, please don't sing. And the father was Billy Joel. Uh, <laughs> uh, Avi and I will his like daughter uh, went to school next week. Why not? and came home and hey, said, we're I traveling. can't believe we go everybody again knows you. You're dreaming. You're dreaming, Alan. Kevin's telling a story. Okay. His I, young daughter came home from school and said to him, I can't believe everybody knows you. <laughs> He's like six years old. <laughs> so I have Rob and Carl. This is January 13th. I'm talking about, boy, I feel like, a, I feel like a, I'm doing like at a church and I'm at the front and I'm doing this call. I'll, come to Jesus. Come to, who was that? Jeff, Me, Jeff. I'll take one. Okay. Okay, I gotta go. Yeah. Bye. Bye, Mono. Bye, Mono. Bye. Good to see you on weekend. You Saturday. Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. 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 <laughs> Deborah, did I hear you say you wanted to do a category? No. Well, not next week. Okay, so the week <laughs> after Deborah's good down. Okay, got that. <laughs> see how she locked you in there, Deborah? <laughs> what was that then? Did I hear you say you wanted to no, do a category? No, you didn't hear me say anything. <laughs> How long has it been since Mike did one? Paula? 
Seriously. Oh. Yep. I can, I have an idea. Hopefully okay, I so can have it ready in time. January 20th. Did Mike say something? <laughs> no, I might have to go out of town. I might go out of town oh. next week, so. Oh, okay. So that means you're only okay for the 20th. I don't know. I might if I don't go out of town next week. I'd go out of town the following. So I don't. I, <laughs> oh, you're. Oh, so that means we're in February. But I don't you know. go out of town that week. It's definitely going to be the week after that. <laughs> bases, I've been. You. I've been thinking about it though. Okay, Karen, did I hear you say something about no, a bonus? Surprisingly, I didn't say anything. It's a miraculous. It's a telepathic connection we have that I hear you saying something. I need a bonus, and I need a round. All right, Susan, put me down for a round. I'll hopefully be able to, that'll be enough time for me to. Otherwise, we'll just guess the category. inside of uh, your room. <laughs> okay, Ben, I need a bonus. <laughs> Who can do a bonus? Bonus. The pressure, Karen. You should, tell, it. you should tell Robin she's doing one since she's I not know, here. I know, but she never comes around. Karen, did I hear you say you do it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I like doing it. I just don't volunteer because, you you know, you want everybody to do it, not the same thing. You don't do them all that often, so you always volunteer. Just a suggestion, Susan, in the future, do this at the beginning when we have, like, you know, 50% more people. Oh, I know. You're probably That's right. That's a good idea. Yeah. And I'll, and I'll do bonus. Okay, bonus. Okay, we are covered. For this round, okay. I know, it's hard to believe I'm pulling pulling teeth to get you guys to do this. This is hilarious. Mm -hmm. It is hard. So, Kevin, what did you think of running the whole thing? How, how, it how was fun. Feel? It's fun. I just I had to prepare. It takes a lot longer than I thought to prepare for it all to get all yeah. the categories and make sure it seemed. And I, I I checked them out with a couple people at work. My wife went through one of them and read you know some of the stuff. So just to make sure it wasn't really bad. I, I really had my doubts about the Elton John when I thought people wouldn't get 10. And <laughs> we then, didn't think you know, we would get 10 either. And then, you know. Yeah, but then there's off. enough people on the team. I guess everybody did get 10. But yeah. to get we, model we did a good job picking out, out obscure ones. I was happy with our four. Yeah. When, when you started naming them, I was really embarrassed because I didn't know. And I think I knew almost every one of those songs that you named. And it was like, oh, and that, yeah, I, he's I, got I'm got a not lot an of Elton hits. John fan. So I'm not. A, unbelievable. I've seen him about a dozen times at concert. He's unbelievable. I mean, he did he did break a record. Yeah. So you know. Oh yeah, I'm sure he's he popular. Well, and that's why maybe I knew they all the songs. back together. But I could not think of anything. Well, so the problem was is I started with Baby Shark, and once you get that <laughs> in your head, you just can't. Oh, no. tell it, Kevin, which was the one I was singing? Man, she was singing Manny. Oh, Manny. Oh, Manny. How does it go? Oh, man. It's, it's Mandy and it's Barry Manilow. <laughs> We're singing Manny. Yeah, we got a Manny? lot of clues out of uh, Kevin, but we still got a zero. <laughs> <laughs> we did. We got a zero. That is it. Yeah. You kept making up stupid songs. <laughs> you you up up we didn't think. Step out for Christmas. Is a Step in the it, it was freaking out. It was, it was there. It was a real song. It there is a song it wasn't that like, load off. You were well, singing, doing baby shots. I know it was a real song. It was an Elton John song. I was Not an Elton doing John real song. Yeah. I did the Macarena. <laughs> no, Step Into Christmas is an Elton John song. Don't it worry, be happy. happy. I had that is what? Karen. <laughs> what? Sure that and that's how we come up with Don't Touch My Yorkshire my, Pudding. Mine were all popular songs. <laughs> yeah. Well, you should have thought about the Disney songs, you know, what he did for like Lion King and that kind of stuff. There's a like, handful of Disney Circle songs. of Life was one. Oh of them. my God. Yeah, and I couldn't one. think of it because Susan kept saying Baby Shark. The oh. commercial for Sasson Jeans, oh. Sasson Say So Much, oh. sad song. I hate that in the new Lion King, the live one, they they changed the singer of, of the beginning. The whole beginning, every sequence is the same as it was in the cartoon, and they had to freaking change the singer and see, instead of leaving out John's song in there. That pissed me off. Faith, if you had told me it was a, he had done a Disney song and he did Lion King, I probably would have maybe got it. I did say like he's he's done some other Disney song. I can't remember. I didn't hear that. Name the Lion King. <laughs> we were just doing baby shark. Do, do. <laughs> you didn't allow me to pull from my oh. memory where we listened to that whole soundtrack. Romero and I were doing the chicken dance. 
Oh, you started fucking doing the Macarena. He started singing in Spanish. <laughs> so, so was it more annoying distraction than anything else? Yeah, that's why we got a new set. That's why we got a zero. Because he <laughs> doesn't know her Elton John. Right, Susan, could you put the score back up? I usually take a picture of the final, and I, I didn't do it this time. For some reason, I missed it. Here we go. Most of this stuff came out before I was born. Well, yeah, I'm not I've, that old. My excuse. Thank you. You guys got it? Hey, we weren't in yeah. last place. I'm happy about that. Yeah. Wait, wait a second. Wait, I'm just looking at the score right now. We went, we're in last place. Yeah. yeah. Oh, 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 oh. It just not occurred to you. Do, 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 do. So, so Susan, of, of the two. The boat anchor Gerbic. Of, of the two nights that you were on a team, one's for me and one for Kevin, were you both times in the last place team? Is that the way it happened? <laughs> I think it might, I think it might so have been. So you're a liability, I not an asset to. <laughs> I'm pleading the fifth. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Was that true? What day was it you did it, Kevin? I mean, Carl. I mean, Rob. Were you Rob. Rob. December, Rob. December 16th, 1-6. One, one oh, there you are. Susan was on team one. And show us the score. You are the last score. <laughs> we need to see proof. We need to see let the see, evidence. Let me see. Let me see. Oh my gosh, I suck at this. <laughs> right here. But but think of it this and way. And we got the same squad. <laughs> <laughs> so, so but we lost by zero. two, like this time, I think, didn't we? Let's see. Yeah, we lost by two. See? The next score above us was. But you gave us a big fat zero in one half. <laughs> Well, I, oh my gosh. You know, you know what? I don't have a lot of practices. This. this is only the second time I have played this game. How many times have you guys played? You no, know, you keep playing different rounds. You haven't done like a full well, yeah. category in how long? I haven't no. played this game before. It's just thank you guys. Good night. Good night, Cassie. Right. Good night. I'm going to take off to yeah, see you later. Yeah. All right. Have, I guess we have should. a good, good week. Saturday. Have a good I was week. up till 3 30, so I guess I should go. I got to read this thread. This looks really good. Oh, not, actually, there's not, read that read there's not that much. There's not that much. Don't read it. Thanks again, Kevin. Bye, guys. Yeah. Thank you, Kevin. Take that care. Was really Kevin, fun. that was good. Good night, Kevin. I'll see Kevin. you guys later. That's good. Bye. Good job, Saturday, Bye. I hope, everybody.